Hit er auf die Soldats cross some enemies.
happy monday i hope you had a good start to your week um i hope you're all doing well i think cc should be on correct me if it's not uh little disclaimer before we get started i do actually have a very scratchy throat and kind of it kind of hurts a little bit um so if today might not be quite as long i hope that that's okay um but yeah uh just as a little note on the side hello everyone and um lexi thank you so much for the 19 month resub thank you so much for the uh continued continued support i really appreciate it thank you um also jj crossing thank you for that follow we found your island on stream yesterday uh, i'm not sure if you if you're listening right now but we found we did surprise da visits yesterday and we found your island and we were all like pretty blown away um but welcome on in welcome on in all righty let me see uh early squad today went to chrissy kata persephone bambi shmaigi fia uh Monkatsa, vanessa mk and mia thank you so much for being here so early and proclaiming that i appreciate it also jan molly and thomas and jerry lurks i appreciate y'all hanging out um okay let's see let's see oh my happy birthday happy birthday to you oh we got a slightly slightly foggy glasses happy birthday i hope uh, actually a friend of mine uh it's also her birthday today um i hope you've had a good day so far or like i think you said it's a great way to start the day so i hope you will have a great day today thank you for spending part of it with us and uh yeah i hope you have a lovely day um got the upbeat song and everything um Alrighty, uh, Chrissy, welcome on in. Shmaigi, hello. Kata and Vanessa, welcome on in. Um, Bambi, welcome on in. Mm, let's see, let's see. Kata, I, I said already, I think. Persephone, welcome on in. Better be done with your makeup, y'all. I don't know what it is. I just keep like, I, I don't evaluate like the time that I need for certain things correctly. And then I'm always like a couple minutes late. I feel like it's never like terrible, but it's always like a couple minutes and I kind of feel bad about it. <laughs> all right um let's see let's see mm, yeah. <laughs> salty shmikey i know right <laughs> i know emily welcome on in hello um let's see lou welcome on in molly and lauren hello uh fia welcome on in some of you weren't able to redeem the early squad i'm sorry uh and then lauren hello both Lawrence Navour also welcome on in. Monkatsa, hello. Uh, ooh, good. Oh, good wobbly scores and not great wobbly scores. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> I claim honorary early squats since Twitch twitched on me. It seems to have done that for a few people today. I like uh, according to a few people, the early squad was weird today. I apologize for that. Uh, not that it was my fault. I didn't do anything. I promise. But um, yeah. <laughs> also, Jackie, welcome on in. Hello. And then uh, Lunar Fable, welcome to the chat. Hello. Uh, and also Arab, is it Arab Mund or Arab Mund? Uh, also welcome to the chat. Hello, hello. Okay, the dance of the Moonlight Jellies is always like way too quiet. Way too quiet. Uh, Steadily, hello. And uh, Jan, welcome on in. Uh, Kirchi, welcome on in as well. I wish I had an island to show off, but boy, am I struggling with my current one. It's just tragic at this point, Fia. I'm sorry. I get it though. I get it. And you know, we're we're still gonna you're we're still gonna do it uh like in the future at some point. We're still gonna do some more island tours. So who knows? And then maybe this island's gonna be done, or maybe at some point you'll be like, ah, whatever, and do something else, which is both perfectly fine. Um Fel, welcome on in. Hello. Uh and then Lexi, thank you again for the resub. I appreciate it. Gotta do my workout. Oh my gosh, Fel, have fun. Have fun. I wish I was that disciplined or whatever, but uh, no. <laughs> uh, very much on brand with the typical last square. Struggle all. I maybe uh, have maybe a bit more than one map square and some of my beaches left, but the struggle bus is still going hard on me. I've been trying to build my campsite area for hours. Cut you at the. You're talking about the. You're talking about the winter island, right? But look at you. You've got, you've done so freaking much now. You, you're like almost done with that island. Great. Cool. Only 25% then. That's fine. 
Oh gosh. Yeah, I have, I put in the earrings into, but this one is actually not really doing too well. So yesterday I took out the, I took out the earring thingies um, from like getting them pierced and I put in like regular hoop thingies. Um, so now I can have two here and then like, I, it's so much hair you can't see it, but um, three here, but the third one is the newest one and that one's hurting and it's gooping and it's not, it's not so great. <laughs> I hope it'll be fine because like, I literally the other one we cut it open so I can't like even return it in so we'll see how that uh, we'll see how it goes uh, Queen of Berries thank you so much for the uh, two month or so thank you for deciding to resubscribe and to use your prime on me thank you so much for the continued support Thank you. Also, Jeannie, welcome to the chat. Hobsy, welcome on in. <sighs> Tell us more about the pasta. Oh, it was so good. I ate like leftovers just before stream at some point. It was very good. I think I would have maybe like next time I might add a little bit of tofu to it. I actually thought about maybe smoked tofu, um, but it was bomb. I mean, what's not what's not great? It's like onions. I added a whole bunch of garlic to the sauce and it was like cream and 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 mushrooms like i mean what's not great about it you know but like it was so good <laughs> it was so good um and kyla welcome on and happy you're streaming today it's my uh, birthday my birthday oh gosh my birthday today yes i hope are you are you having cake have you already had cake very important question <laughs> moth also welcome on in hello um Oh, you're a little too sweet. I don't even feel that great. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just glowy because I'm like starting to get the the six wets. <laughs> Not funny. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Also, Queen, I welcome to the chat. Hello, and Emma, welcome on in. Hello, Michelle, welcome to the chat. Hello, hello. So many first time chatters. It's very exciting. Hello. I'm late to work every day, so I can't complain. I mean, I feel like as long as it's just a few minutes, it's kind of fine, right? You know, I don't care if you're a little late as long as I get early squad. Oh, I see. So it's probably better for me to be like later than like be earlier because I've, 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 it happened like maybe just a handful of times that it was like a couple minutes early. And I know like Persephone always complained because Persephone was always like, excuse me, I didn't know that you'd be here today. Okay, question. Is the music very loud today or is that just my ears starting to clog up and me not hearing myself quite as as nice at like not nicely but like quite as quite as well Is is the the music to voice thing is that okay Oh god maybe I should have I kind of thought about not streaming for a little bit but then I was like you know what no we're going to do it Well it's great And music's fine it sounds fine for me okay it's a bit louder, not too loud, okay. I can actually hear the music. Chrissy, you're a hater. Maybe this song is just louder also. I'm not I don't know. I'm still currently rebuilding my islands, taking time. Don't let me rush you either, please. Also, satellite, welcome on in. Good to see you again. Um I love the earrings and the hair and the flannel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there there may be like a somewhat decent. No one said anything yesterday. I had like green earrings in yesterday. <laughs> Just kidding. I did wear my hair down, so I guess you didn't see quite as well. Um, but ah, where's the floof? Yeah, and now I just need to have a conjuring, but that's still gonna we're still gonna wait on that a little bit because I feel like if I if I change that now oh no I feel like my ear is gonna fall off or something um Kyla also thank you so much for the prime resub for three months now thank you for using that on me again uh, and enjoy the new badge as well and uh, thank you for the support I know smoked tofu sounds really good with it right now I want pasta for lunch yes get it get it What's not great about it? Onions done. No, the onions were great. <laughs> the only thing I didn't like was cutting them because I'm very like get an onion like just tiny bit slow, tiny bit slow, tiny bit close to me and I start crying. So that wasn't the greatest, but it was freaking delicious. 
Um, also, Alice, welcome on in. It's good to see you again. My husband made me a chocolate peanut butter cake from scratch yesterday. We celebrated early since my son has basketball tonight. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, that sounds really good, though. That sounds really good. Gianna, welcome on in. A few minutes, 10 minutes. Who's counting? Exactly, Emily. Exactly. Okay. Um... Let's see. I'm sick too and I have no food in the house. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, when you got like no snacks, no food. Terrible. <laughs> I don't clock in, which is very bad for me. Oh yeah, same. See, that's the thing. I can feel like on stream it's kind of fine-ish because I know y'all, like there's some people like waiting, etc. But I feel like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think I might be a little bit sick. I think I might have caught something when I was... Although it's like, it feels almost a little bit too late from... Like, if it's something I got a uh, while in Cologne, it almost feels like it's too late now. But, um, I mean, I haven't really done anything in the meantime. I literally got home and I've been home ever since. So it can't really be anything else. Um, but I have, like, a really, really, like, scratchy throat. And then my, my nose started being, like, clogged up. So, yeah. I'm okay. It's just kind of, I feel like it's getting better now. I've had some tea. I've had some like cuff drops and stuff. Um, I think like after waking up, it's kind of the roughest because it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not great. It's kind of like you try to like swallow to make it get better because it feels so scratchy, but it just doesn't get better. And then, yeah, I know Persephone just has to be there earlier. I know. I know. <laughs> Akiri, welcome on in. Hello. Yeah, but I think that song was louder because I feel like now we're back to regular, um, to regular volume. It's Monday morning. The floof is sleeping in. It's not Monday morning for me. It's like 5 p.m. It's 5.22. The snow disappeared on my island. I absolutely hate it. I thought I was making a spring island, but now I'm questioning everything. Oh, well, if you're playing in real time, though, then you probably have to puke grass right now. And if you want to do like a spring island... I feel like that won't look quite right with the puke grass. Like, that'll change a whole bunch. It'll get so much greener and so much prettier. Add Jules and Sierra, welcome on in. Hello. I'm going to terraform my island uh, the other the whole day today to make some progress on it. So I still make it to the island tours on Sunday. Oh, my gosh. Don't let me rush you, though. Don't let me rush you. Um, We might... We might look at... um. We might look at Manami Lane on Wednesday. I don't know if you've seen that one, but it's like a very cute. I, I played the demo and I loved it. And then I saw this thing where you could sign up to get a key if you're a creator. And they gave me a key. Uh, and so we might actually like I already have it, but I don't think I'm allowed. Like I'm not allowed to stream it until like a day before, which would be tomorrow. But so I think we might be looking at uh, Manami Lane to on Wednesday. <laughs> Um, so I don't know how many tours will get done because it's like it, it basically in the mail. They said that if you play through all the all the things, it can take like two to four hours. So I don't know if like we're going to actually play through the entire thing or if we're just going to be um, or if we're just going to be looking at it or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's that might happen on Wednesday. So we'll see about the island tours. But yes, I also feel like there's a little bit of brain fog going on today, like more than usual. So I'm going to have to jump on the onion hate train. I appreciate they add flavor to dishes, but that should be the only rule. Are you also a texture, a texture, like is texture the issue there else? It could be allergies. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm allergic to like dust, but I mean, it's not really gotten like any worse in the last like two days than all the time before, I think. So I don't know. I have the game on my wish list. I hope it's good because I'd really love that. It is. It can. I don't know. I um. I guess it it can maybe like get a little bit repetitive at some point, but I really liked it. I just realized I can't be there on Wednesday. Well, well. We've also been sick over the past few weeks. Me and my daughter had the cold for over a week, and then my husband was sick last week, and then our daughter caught something, so we had to take her to urgent care twice. Oh my god, I'm glad she's better now, though. Yeah, I feel like w within a family, it always hops from, like, one person to the next. It's just really not great. It's Dune Day. Okay. 
haven't even seen the first one. I've been wanting to, but I like I haven't even done done that. And honestly, I don't even know what that movie is about. I just see everyone being like freaking hyped about it. Um, and I can appreciate the actors. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Soft onions are knotted. OK, so else would you rather bite into a crunchy onion like a raw onion than eat them like soft? Yeah, Sig Family Squad. Yep. Yep. And Gemma, I enjoy your lyric. Welcome on in. And also Paulina, welcome on in. Mushrooms are that for me. Texture is just vile. Yeah. The texture of mushrooms, I kind of get it because I was like that before. Um I I kind of really, really, really uh disliked mushrooms for uh, like a lot of my childhood, to be honest. But I don't know now i love them i think that like i don't know i've sometimes i feel like but i always like eat the same stuff i, I think so that's probably why i feel like that but there's certain things i i have a feeling if i dislike them i'd have like a very hard time being a vegetarian because they're like in all of my meals like i think i'd have a very hard time if i dislike tomatoes um mushrooms and then I do like I I I always like switch between like zucchini and bell pepper and then maybe sometimes like something like broccoli. But so yeah. I love them raw with hot sauce. I've kind of I've started loving them raw, so yeah, preferably just put them in the dish for flavor, but then not actually eat them. Yeah, okay. I have big issues with texture. I had a lasagna ready meal uh, recently. All the different textures make me want to barf. Yeah, my boyfriend doesn't understand it. No, I kind of do understand it. I kind of do understand it. Just sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Some I have I sometimes have a hard time when there's like picky eaters around me when I have to like cook for them because it makes me quite anxious. I think, but I kind of get the texture thing. Like if it's if it's just a no for you, then it's a no for you. And you're making dinner, Vanessa. Mushrooms are such a umami booster. Yeah. I, well, to be fair, I don't really eat too many different mushrooms. I most of the time just have, I don't know what you call them in English. But so like, I don't, I don't eat like a super wide variety of them. I don't like them if they're too like squeaky or something. But yeah. Mushrooms in the air fryer can live with. I always hated mushrooms apart from that. Okay. I don't know if I've ever tried them in the air fryer. Like just with like seasoning and then just put them in the air fryer and that's that. I hate mushrooms taste and texture. I love pretty much all types of food. Only thing I really cannot even smell without starting to feel sick is eggs. Oh, interesting. I feel like eggs for me is that typical thing where it's like I sometimes randomly get the ick somewhat. Yeah, I mean, for me, I, there's definitely a few things I don't like. I mean, I don't eat meat or fish, so that's kind of one thing. But that's just like, it's not because I don't like the taste of it. It's just, you know, um, I really hate eggplant. Eggplant makes me want to throw up. Um, I don't understand celery. I don't get it. I don't get celery. I really dislike raisins in some like in a dough or like a like a baked good. Like if you give me raisins in a trail mix, I'm okay with it. If you give me raisins by themselves, like covered in chocolate, delicious. But raisins in like a doughy something, absolutely disgusting because it, it's it's like it's a textured thing for me because it's like boogers and my bread, and I'm not gonna no, <laughs> no. I will eat all the mushrooms on behalf of everyone who hates them. No problem. Yeah. I may be picky eater, but I'm also a people, a people pleaser. I will eat it, but probably not enjoy just because I don't want to be an inconvenience. Yeah, but then you're not going to like it. And then that's not great either. I don't know. When I lived in China for six months, when I was 19, I ate shiitake mushrooms all the time. In Sweden, we eat yellow mushrooms. I don't mind them. Yeah. Also, Zubrig, welcome on in. I feel so bad for my sister-in-law. My brother is keto. I'm gluten and dairy-free. Oh my God. She gets overwhelmed easily when I visit. Oh yeah. 
I tell her that I'll take care of my own meals because I know it's a pain in the butt, especially if you're like actually gluten and like if you if you cannot have gluten because you're like you have celiac disease. I don't know if it's like a, just if it's like why you're not you're not having it, but if, you, if you're truly like if you have celiac disease, you cannot have a crumb of gluten like any tiny little crumb is actually very harmful. And I feel like that is just um that's very much a challenge, I think, if you're usually not cooking like that. Just oil and salt and pepper. My mom made it with cod, pesto, and asparagus. Ooh. Eggs are a man unless there are fresh eggs, yeah. I can't do asparagus. Ooh, I like asparagus. But asparagus for me also sometimes, like, I've had, I've, I remember there was this one meal I made uh, with like green asparagus, I roasted it in the oven. I don't know what happened, but it was very, I like almost couldn't chew it and I really got the ick. I do still like it though. Um, but yeah, I was a vegetarian for almost six years. I eat meat again for personal health, but I get grossed out if I think of my meals too much. Oh, but honestly, I, I don't know if I could do it. I feel like I'd rather, like, I don't know if that's the, if that's a possibility, but I'd rather eat, like, I'd swallow, like, pills, like, any substitutes instead of eating meat. I feel like, I don't know. Kohlrabi. Oh, wait, what is that in, um, what is that in English? Celery is basically crunchy water. No, but it doesn't, it do, it tastes like something. Like, it, it just doesn't taste great. It has this weird, like, almost dishwater type of taste, I feel like. I put celery in my bolognese and carrots for veggies. Yeah, lots of people put celery into stuff, and I'm just not here for it. <laughs> I'm not really here for it. Um... Oh, and I also, I'm the, I'm one of the, the people, I'm one of those people who cannot have cilantro. Like, cilantro tastes like soap to me. Yeah. And Sherry, welcome on in. I'll eat everyone's onions. Yeah. Mushrooms are delicious. I agree. I will also eat all the booger bread. Mmm. You enjoy. Oh, possible celiacs. I'm hoping my test comes back negative and it's just a sensitivity would be ideal. Yeah. Cause cause like honestly, everything else is oh god, it's so tough. Anybody else get influence on food really easily by unrelated situations? Like I was sick once after eating blue heat takis which i loved and now i can't eat them anymore but it wasn't because of the takis it was i was just unwell a uh, cat is like that cat is like that yeah we had we ordered indian food like a few times and then one time she like got sick of she got sick like the next day after eating it and she thinks it might have been because of the food we're not really sure but now she literally won't order indian food anymore which i'm actually very sad about but you know what can you do I feel like I'm kind of in a pissed mood today. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just noticing that. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Chewy and stringy asparagus means it was out of season, probably. Yeah, maybe it was that. Oh, online it says that kohlrabi is cabbage turnip. Oh, interesting. I love it. I love it. It reminds me very much of my mom because my mom always grows it in her garden and she would always pack it up for us when we went to... Uh, the swimming pool she'd always have a little bit of chopped like just actually she'd take the entire thing like the entire apparently cabbage turnip and she, she'd like when we get out of the pool we she would cut it up and give it to us in like little pieces i wish i had some fruit bread right now why did you mention it toasted and buttery i mean you know i'll i i get it but it's just it's really just a texture thing it's you know it's it also might be like a traumatic, I feel like there must have been one point in my life when I was expecting to bite into like a chocolate brioche type of thing and it ended up being one with raisins and then that was just it for me, you know? I used to be an eggplant hater with fire but for a Sylvester, uh, New Year's Eve uh, dinner, I tried them grilled in very thin slices with a bit of salt in them they actually tasted well, I was so surprised. No, I can't. See, I hear that argument. I'm so I'm so salty today. I'm I'm so sorry. But like I hear that argument every time cuz my parents apparently went to this party at some point where they also had like eggplant sliced thinly with whatever on it. And ever since that happened like 3 years ago, 
every time I'm over there, they talk like talk about this eggplant. I'm like, maybe you should try it again. Maybe you should just eat the thinly sliced. It was really good. And I'm like, no, I've tried it literally so many times. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Stop it. I literally can't. I've had it. I've had it on like there was like a focaccia with like grilled vegetable stuff on top, like chopped, chopped, very tiny, thinly, whatever, you know, and and there were like like tiny pieces of eggplant on it. I didn't know about it. I bit into it and I was like, mom, is there eggplant on this? And she was like, I don't think so. And she was, because it was like store bought and she checked the package and was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And it said like two percent eggplant or something. And I tasted it because I hate it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> My partner works in agriculture. We get lots of vegetables and fruit. Oh, I love that. Yeah, the egg egg. Yep. Yep. I love meat. I couldn't live without to be with without to be go. What? But I respect and understand everyone who can do it and loves being vegan and vegetarian. The thing is, you don't have to go without it. There's literally bomb ass vegetarian stuff that literally tastes like meat. We've had some stuff recently. I mean, frankly, I haven't had meat in like years, but um, but we literally had some stuff recently. We like we ate we ate it and then we were like, hold on. Was that really vegetarian? And then we checked the packaging because it's starting to get like freakily good. And to be honest, I like no shade to anyone, uh, although this is going to sound shady, no shade to anyone. But I, that argument is just not I feel like that's not a good argument. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's really not that many reasons to eat meat anymore. But anyways, moving past it. That's sad. Cilantro is so good. See, I, I kind of do feel sad about that one, but that's just a gene thing. Like my mom has the soap gene. I think my dad might not. I'm not sure, but I have the soap gene. I, if to me, it just unfortunately it tastes like soap. Um, but I've heard from so many people that cilantro is like just really, really good. And then a lot of times people like say, if you want to substitute it, you can use like, um, you can use like parsley. Um, but then I find it, sometimes I find that parsley doesn't quite fit and I feel like cilantro would probably taste differently, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <sighs> We're talking about food. Yes. I have the best soft buns ever in the morning. I wish I bought more. Oh, get... oh to bite into focaccia right now. Yum. I was waiting for the cilantro comment. Yeah. That one I'm actually sad about. I'm not because I feel like, you know, I, I trust people. I trust like, I don't know how to say this. I get it when people tell me they think it's delicious because I can kind of see that and I can understand that it's just a genetic thing, kind of, you know, but the eggplant, I'm like, just no, leave me alone, please. I don't want to talk about it. I have a love hate relationship with eggs and sometimes they like I like them and sometimes it gross me out. Yep. Yeah. It's such a nice connection you got to the vegetable. I just think they taste really nice, but seem kind of underrated. Wait, what does? We sometimes take kale and chop it up into small bits onto a tray with olive oil, salt and pepper, and they become like crisps. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I don't think I've tried that before. I've seen that on social media, though, and I feel like a lot of like kale salads always look very good. I'm like, honest, I, I have not had kale in a while. I think I've had it when like was out eating somewhere, but I haven't prepared it myself because I'm always... I'm uh, always like uh, scared. I won't be able to prepare it nicely and it just will be like too rough around the edges. Only eggplant only is good when breaded and deep fried. See, that's like when when everything covers the taste. <laughs> oh, my boyfriend ate more than 10 eggs in two days last week and I was telling him about health risks and stuff. Oh, yeah, I remember my my sister is like a like a dietitian and i remember her saying that there is like the recommended amount of eggs per week is two like two eggs per week yeah coriander yeah coriander is cilantro cilantro coriander yep my girlfriend can't even think about eating raisins without wanting to cry so you're definitely not alone yeah yeah yeah, I'd be the same. Probier doch mal. Yeah, and so the thing is, you know, I'm not I I try stuff. Like I've been I've been very much raised that way that I try things, you know. Um 
and and I'm not just like out of out of whatever I'm not like I'm not just saying like oh no I'll try it but like ah oh, that's the same argument I have with my dad about mushrooms yep yep since you're spicy today maybe try some spicy eggplant maybe if it's spicy enough so it just all burns everything burns you know uh, mochi welcome on in i feel the food hate though i'm a very picky eater i feel like i'm not even that picky but like i don't know there's certain things and then like i said i'm just i feel like i'm just like weirdly not even like the fun spicy i'm just kind of like annoyed today and then i get annoyed because i'm annoyed <laughs> that's really that's the most fun time isn't it perfect day to do uh island tours <laughs> yeah my husband's a vegetarian. I eat meat, but I eat mostly vegetarian because it's just easier. Yeah, actually, when I so when I moved out, I was already a vegetarian. But like, I think I because I, I remember thinking about this. I always kind of got the ache preparing meat anyways. So I think that would have been the time where I would have gone like vegetarian anyways, you know. I have I, I have spit food in my napkin before at like catered work events because it was too realistic and I had to go check. Yeah. Yeah, because it's weird because at some point. So I initially went vegetarian because of like environmental reasons. And like that was that was the, the main thing um, that really got me to finally, you know, go like 100 percent vegetarian. And then also like, you know, animals, obviously. I feel like now and now it's more the animals because it's kind of like the thought of eat. It's just weird to me. Like sometimes Kat and I look so like luckily in the grocery store that we go to most of the time, the like meat aisle is one that we can just completely skip. And so in our world, sometimes it's just not even a thing anymore that people eat meat. And then we get surprised that like it's still such a big thing. And sometimes we're just going to look at someone like in a restaurant and be like, oh, look at them eating like dead stuff. Great. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm such a hater. Uh, Pavement Princess and City Rat. Welcome to the chat. Hello. Hello. I don't know how many times I ran into the kitchen and grabbed the packaging out of the trash because I was afraid it's me. Yes. I do try to incorporate more plant-based food and there are so many good vegetables. Ve uh, oh wait, vegetable meat like food. Oh, you mean like stuff that imitates meat? Yes, yes. And I mean, you know, again, I don't mean to like throw shade or, or anything. Um, but like anything you substitute is already great, you know? So that's also, yeah. Parsley is green and leafy. It's the only similarity. Oh, okay. Cause like I I thought like people were recommending it because the taste was similar, but but I was like this isn't I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Mine was for epilepsy. It's very difficult to stay low carb on a vegetable diet. Oh okay, I need to keep my seizures controlled personally. Only by local well treated animals. It's been a process to mentally be easier on myself. Oh yeah, I actually have heard something like that before. Yep. Yeah okay, low carb on a vegetable diet can be can be a little bit tough because I think it's just yeah it's not super filling either this conversation is not helping my hungry stomach go get something go get something I'm doing mindless data entry at work today so a good day for island tours let's go two eggs per day right no it was actually per week I have free to welcome one in Maybe I just don't eat a lot of dishes that really require cilantro for seasoning. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of times when you have like tacos, it's, it's com it comes with like tacos. It sometimes comes with like fancy salad or soup bowls when you go when you go out somewhere. Um, my worst fear is when I order or, or eat something in a restaurant with meat alternatives and it tastes too similar. The longer I haven't eaten any meat, the more vape the memory of it becomes. That's very true. That is very true. Also, uh, Scooty Bug, thank you for that follow. I think there might be an ad going on right now, but thank you so much. My friends once gave me a cocky that wasn't ripe yet. I bit into it and I swear to God, I had the feeling of fur in my mouth for hours. I never touched a cocky ever again. I have, I think I've tried it like before, but it's just, I, I think maybe it was kind of like that too. And I haven't tried it since then. I'm, I probably should. 
I probably should because I've heard from a lot of people that it's very, yeah. Yeah, diet choices are very personal. What works for one might not, might not work for someone else. That's true. I hope someone has the eggplant figure on their island later. <sighs> two eggs per week sounded crazy to me, but thinking about it, I actually only eat two per week. I mean, if you don't, I feel like as soon as you make yourself like some eggs for breakfast, like scrambled eggs or something, I feel like then it gets very hard to achieve. But like process and other things, I feel like it's kind of realistic. Like if we just have it as part of like a cake or something, I feel like it makes somewhat sense. This song is kind of weird sometimes. I have two villagers left to move out to have an all wolf island, but they're being so stubborn that and I've been trying for so long. I hate moving villagers out. Luckily, like I feel like the last few times on my island, it's happened more or less. Um, excuse me, please skip. It's happened more or less like organically, where at some point they just kind of asked and it was like, oh, yeah, OK. Um, but yeah, I hate I hate time traveling them uh, and getting them out. Time traveling them. I hate time traveling and getting them out. <sighs> I eat mostly vegetarian because it's much easier to cook the same meal for both of us. Yes. When we go out for something to eat, I may choose meat or fish because I appreciate more than having it once in a blue moon than eating it all the time. Oh, yeah. Actually, very, uh, very good point. Very good point. Sort of lurking now. Your stream is helping me focus to clean my junk drawer. Oh, my God. Like, look at you go. No worries. Enjoy your lurk. I wish there were more wolves with different personalities. True. Also, MK, welcome on in. I think I... Did I say that already? I'm not sure. Welcome on in. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Kata. Yeah, I agree with you. I have 250 categories to put into this spreadsheet, but there are 211 added. What did I miss? Oh, and now, now going through the entire list again. Isn't that going to be fun? <laughs> Okay, so um, plan for today is I would like to do some island tours. Uh, Remy, welcome on in. There's 11 wolf villagers, uh, and I had to choose one to leave behind. I left Kyle. Oh, oh no. Let's roast some islands. Oh, no, we're going to be nice today because it's community islands. I mean, I guess I'm, I might be spite. I'm going to be like, oh, whatever. <laughs> You built something good for you. <laughs> oh, no, no one's going to redeem. Just look at everyone being like, oh, maybe not today. <laughs> maybe not. <sighs> oh, I'm searching for tips on the Internet on how to eat less meat because I want to reduce my consume until one day I don't need it anymore. Yeah, like every step is better. Yeah, exactly. Every step is better. Uh, and and just every day or every meal where you reduce it, that's already great. Roast islands, not animals. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no worries, Lorenzo. Thank you for hopping in quickly. Okay, I will open up the channel point redemption. So plan for today, we're going to do island tours. We're going to do community island tours. In case not enough people um, redeem, then we can also do another bit of surprise islands maybe. Um, okay. Island things should be open. Please put in your DA. If you don't put in your DA, then we will refund it. Uh, and I, I've set like a, I've set a limit of one per, uh, one per person. So that would kind of make this a little bit harder. So please, if you redeem, put in your DA in the redemption text that you need to add. Um, uh, yeah, Kira, because I don't, I don't have yours. So I checked. I still technically have the list. Kiri, if we if we go to your island, then uh then we can give you the points back and stuff. But please still redeem with the DA, because I think also when you redeemed, you didn't put your DA in just yet. Yeah, so only finished islands, only your own dream address. Uh you can redeem it using channel points. If we tour your island, then we um yeah, we kind of accept the redemption. So at that point, you kind of pay. Um, and if we don't get to touring your island today for whatever reason, then you get the points back. Or if you've been on the list before and you remember that and tell me like Kiri did, then I can also give you the points back, I think. Um, 
yeah uh, also we are gonna try to go through it like an order of redeeming so we're gonna start with emily's and go to chrissy's and to schmeigy's and whoever else like hops onto onto the list um and yeah i'm gonna try my best to not take super long with each island so we can see quite a few of them um yeah we'll see we'll see i'll add later when i'm back home if not i'll redeem on wednesday yes Mm. I'm gonna lurk while working. Um, oh, lurk the island tours while working on my own now. I hope everyone that wants their island to be viewed gets the chance. Enjoy your lurk, Lou. I appreciate it. I was ready. You were ready, Lou. Enter, enter the lurk. If you came to my island, that would just be flat. I mean, we also respect that, you know? <laughs> I did actually start... Um, I did start uh, flattening Sycamore just before stream a little bit. And it didn't even calm me down. I'm still pissed. I don't even know why. I think just because I'm sick. And then... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like I haven't been like this on stream in like a while. Um, yeah, anyway. And I feel like I'm waiting on like an email and I haven't gotten in, so... <laughs> the backsides of my cliffs are very interesting. <gasps> Says the person who always roasts me about my left behind tiles. Uh? It's not like I put a bunch of weeds there. Okay, Emily, okay. <laughs> um, I got to rewatch the stream from yesterday. I was too tired and I haven't heard about the new island you want to do yet. Yeah, no worries. Um, also, the, um, I think the stream should be up on YouTube already with timestamps. So you can also hop there relatively quickly. And um, we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll talk about it more some other time for sure when, when we... Um, and my brain i'm gonna cry uh when we actually do like the mood board and stuff decided against my berlin island because the lack would be too much for me on a spicy feeling day no i'm so sorry i'm so sorry it would have been fine <laughs> it takes so long to flatten an island and get it back to a blank canvas it does in my experience it takes around like nine eight nine ten hours hate it but kind of also love it cozy pissed flattening of my early fall island it's luckily it's no commentary you know the good thing was i could watch i could just continue watching some modern family but yeah no worries Sherry. enjoy your uh enjoy your lurk all right shall we head over then i see some some awesome people have already redeemed I and mean, i'm excited to see all of your islands so we can hop over we can hop into the animal animal crossing category and then we'll see. I'm sure it's full of weeds. I'm looking forward to being inspired while I decorate. Um, oh, is it Petalil? Oh, that's cute. Uh, don't be sorry. Trust me, it's a lot of lag. I was annoyed by the end. No, I, f I feel that though. I remember like when I was decorating Verdant, I remember towards the end, I was thinking, oh, you know, I really like this island. Maybe I can keep it. And then the lag annoyed me so freaking much um that i couldn't do it then i yeeted it i've been binge watching h2o oh my god i love that i love that <laughs> i don't know why but i feel like i remember i like in my head that series that show is like so much longer than just like three seasons i it's so short if you really think about it okay also i think jj wasn't here but jj just left a comment on the youtube archive videos so she actually saw it which i'm very happy about i consider like dming her and being like we saw your island and the everyone was like blown away <laughs> so i'm glad she saw that oh no worries i hope your zoom meeting goes well kata no worries and thank you for the lurk all righty so we will go ahead and get started with emily's island um emily if you want to share anything that was the beauty and the beast island right um if you want to share anything, shall I, like, get my... Also, I just want to make sure real quick. Hold on. Because I technically still have the old list here. Okay, but I don't have an open redemption from Emily. Okay, so that's good. Uh, let me maybe make a note for myself, like a little list of notes things uh, with the DAs so I can very easily copy paste them later on. 
um, for the archive VOD. All right. There we go. And then one of the, I think Chrissy will pin the DA uh, and, and like who created the island and it'll be pinned in the chat so everyone can kind of um, kind of see there. Also, Emily, if you want to give like an Instagram channel or uh, like an Instagram account or something like that, that we can pin in that co uh, co command, some comment. Uh, that we can pin also feel free to do it but you don't have to either uh you might have to whisper chrissy though because i don't i don't think you can put links in the in the chat but if you do want to share like a social i'm i'm okay with that when it comes to like touring your islands of course okay zero three one four one eight 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 five two nine eight okay i haven't updated my instagram in a year so i think i'm good all right perfect no worries no worries. Are we in the right category? We are. Yes. Do you think some CC patterns cause more lag than others? I feel like it might be a combination of those with like with items, but I don't know if some of them do like cause more lag, to be honest. Okay. Uh, Villain, Vill, 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 I don't know how to say that. Neuf is a recreation of the original Beauty and the Beast film. It's got the provincial town, a full castle, and our favorite cast of characters. All right, currently touring um, by Emily. <laughs> it is a recreation of the original Beauty and the Beast film. It's got the provincial town, a full castle, and our favorite cast of characters. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Chrissy. That is perfect. Bring out your best French pronunciation. You know, I used to be okayish at pronouncing French stuff. Villeneuve. I don't know. I haven't I haven't like spoken any French in like a very long time, so I feel like I've lost all of it. <laughs> uh, Daisy Slays, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Um Oh Gemma, of course. No, it's, of course. Oh my god, yes. Of course, of course. Also, like Gemma, I know that you're always like hanging out, you know, and lurking a whole bunch. You've always been a very supportive uh, person, so don't worry. Ooh, right as the bell. The bell. <laughs> you get it? Get it? Because bell. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, also, oh, my God. So many. Wait. Oh, my God. So many presents, Emily. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, Daisy, welcome to the chat. No, I follow you on YouTube. Thank you so much. And welcome to Twitch. Alrighty, let me see you. Mm. Uh, and then is it Ilamiki? Thank you for the follow and Joey Lurk as well. What else would I do with my time? Oh. <laughs> you have options. Okay, I kind of like that though. I kind of like that. We have a couple of different uh I'm assuming a couple of different options for everything then. So we're gonna we're gonna put on a cute little outfit. I, I'm going to assume that this might also be outfits. I'm not sure. <gasps> Hat shop, books. Okay, I'm already loving the custom designs. The custom designs on the lanterns are awesome too. They give me like actually like bell vibes. And of course we get a whole bunch of books. Of course we get a whole bunch of books. I mean, how else would it be? I'm very excited for all the tours. Me too. I've been wanting to visit her island. Let's go. Oh, we get some roses. All right. Antique boots. All right, overall elegant dress. Oh, I see, I see. Full length maid gown. Oh, I kind of, I think I might, might go for that one. I think I might go for the, oh wait, there's more. We can also do the noble coat, of course. The young royal shirt, of course, of course. Noble pants, mm-hmm. All right, and then there's a couple of different shoes, I guess, depending on what you're gonna, what you're gonna end up wearing. Antique boots. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna go for the like bell outfit, I'm assuming. So we're gonna go for the full length mate gown with the pumps thingy. Oh, there's a wig with ribbon. Okay, good. In black, all right. And I forgot the wigs, that is totally okay. <laughs> all right, and in green. Okay, I think I'm going to wear the white one. Uh, what else? Socks? Everyday tights? Sure. Oh, I missed one. Hold on. I missed one. Oh, mage's boots. Okay, no. I think I'm okay with the shoes. And then I'll... Rose? I mean, I guess. 
<laughs> Look, I don't have any outfits. I can't do uh, I can't do the the sparkly bit. But you know, <laughs> cute, cute. Ah, uh, Emily's the custom design queen. We should not be surprised. Very true. And also, yes, Polina, you can. I think that should be fine. You can redeem. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a couple of different characters. We do have Belle. We have Lumiere. We have Cogsworth. We have the Beast, of course. And Le Fou is also here. And then we have a couple of different villagers. Um, Gaston, of course, Gaston is here. I mean, that had to happen, you know. Uh, Barbara, Emily's favorite villager. And then we got Felicity, Tia, of course. Oh my god, the, I love that. The teacup like elephant. <laughs> Okay, Felicity, Olivia, we got Cousteau, Doc, Elmer, Kitty, and Wolfgang. Okay, so <sighs> explore the town and then go left. All right. Bill, Belle scratched her face on a rose. Yeah, and maybe she just like also like as she ventured through the um, forest, you know, maybe she fell. The cats are the Mabets. Okay, okay. Is Doc the dad? Oh. Oh, good point. Wait, where is Belle? Oh, Belle lives in the forest, I guess. That's probably going to be the castle back here with Lumiere, Lumiere and Cogsworth and Tia and the Beast, of course. And wait, who else was was this over here? Oh, LeFou. Okay, okay. LeFou and Gaston together, of course. <laughs> oh my god, Doc is the bookshop owner. Okay, so we'll go explore the town. So we'll kind of go, we'll kind of go here. Very, like, French-inspired little town. It's a town, you know, full of, you know. Oh, Elmer is Philippe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very cute with all the castle stuff. Oh, and all the houses, I think, have, like, pretty much the same customization, so they fit, like, the medieval stuff. Oh, and then full-on, like, full-on town. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> That's Cogsworth. I love it. Oh, my God. Attempt to be a gentleman. Yes. Okay. Gr like, I, I mean, that's that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh, oh, also, Emily, are the interiors done? Feel free to let me know, please. Okay, we'll explore the town and then go left, you said. So I'm not going to go, like, to the... To the... Um, to the castle just yet okay all interiors are done okay so i will i will try and do like a quick round of villager interiors as well and also i guess the houses so this might take us a while scratch what i said earlier oh gaston of course with all the very expensive stuff gold furniture paintings he really has to show off like what he has you know ew and then all the like dead animals and the throne Oh, good lord. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I don't... We're not interested in Gaston. No, no. I don't remember a lot of the movie except for the fact that I love Emma Watson. Yeah. I feel like I'm not an expert on uh, Beauty and the Beast either. So if I do miss any, like, references, please don't hate me. Um, I have seen the one with... Like, I've seen both the movies, but I've, I feel like the original has been, like, years ago, I think. So, um, yeah. Ooh, oh my god, the tavern! Of course, with the throne again. Oh, I like that though. And you've blocked off the other rooms with like the um the walls and stuff. But true like tavern vibes, I love it. That is amazing. Beauty and the Beast is my childhood love, yes. I have a question on mindfulness and community DAs. How do you treat every island like this one? We all uh, decorate differently, but how do you treat more simple islands? Are these more, like, these more grand islands? Oh, well, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, I'm about to probably do a much more, like, minimalistic and simple island. I just feel like it really depends on what type of aesthetic you're trying to achieve, you know? And I, I just... I mean, everyone has poured like hours of work into it. So I just, I try to look at it and I try to see the areas that people have decorated and like the thought that they tried to put into it. And no matter whether you do like no tie left behind and 10,000 custom designs or you just do like a more simple and minimalistic vibe, I feel like everything is, is like cute in its own way. So 
I just don't even, I feel like oftentimes you can't really compare them. Like, I mean, yes, if you compare this one with, let's say, a no terraforming normcore island, you're going to be like, oh my God, this is much more detailed and like intricate and all the references are like wild. But it's, it's at, at the end of the day, you can't really compare them. I just kind of try to view them, view them as like separate, separate islands, like separate pieces of, um, of, of, um, what is it? Uh, Art, basically. It's basically art, honestly. Thinking of no tile compared to minimum. Yeah, that's that's just a very different vibe, I think. All right. Oh, very cute, too, with all the dress stuff. I like that. Much more friendly vibe than Gaston had. <laughs> uh, you'll need the book when you go to the bottom of the town on the right side. Okay. I watched a movie like 20 times while decorating. And that makes so much sense, though. I still need to go ahead and watch uh, Encanto just one last time um, before I really upload the DA to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Okay, we still have a little bit more town to explore. I'm guessing that over the right-hand side, this will lead us into the forest, right? Okay, the cafe sign. Also, beautiful custom design stuff. You really are a master at this stuff. Like, picking out all the different, like, hats with the with the food stuff and, and all. I've seen the one with Emma Watson this a few years ago when it came out. Yeah, I think me too. And I still remember I actually went to see that one in German and I swore to myself I would never again see a musical film in German again because the the um, mouth movements just really, really do not fit. Oh, LeFou. No one's like a Gaston. Oh my God, I love it. Yep, yep. All right. Everyone's islands is a reflection on them and what makes them happy. And I think that's always beautiful. Yes, exactly. Yellow bimbet. Oh, wait, what is the other one? What is what is the other? Sorry, Emily, I keep like skipping over your, your comments, I feel like. Okay, yellow. And then what is the other one? Who lives next to... Felicity. Oh, Doc. Okay. Red and green. Okay. Oh, so we got yellow, red, and green. Okay. Okay. And we all like to compliment each other. Yes. And then keep right going right towards Barbara. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Wait. I'm almost there. <gasps> oh, my God. This is where she's washing her clothing. Uh, cute. I do spend hours shopping for codes. It's amazing. Uh, this dress is called, I'm um, also at, is it Teeter? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Full length maid gown. You need your book. The scene with the sheep. God, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. I hardly remember anything about the film. It's probably been 20 years since I watched it, but the island looks very beautiful. Everything seems so harmonious. Yes. And that's, again, you know, you create it like an island that was inspired by something. And if you see the references, it's amazing. But um, it's also just like you can appreciate it as an island in and of itself, you know. A genie also, I really agree. It's so free. Oh, my God. Gusto looks so happy. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. I really miss Gusto. I really do want to, you know, bring Sorbet back at some point. I love it. Teeter, welcome to the chat also. Very, very cute. Who is he again? You would be two if you had two whole wheels of cheese. Three. I count three, Persephone. There's literally three whole wheels of cheese. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, three! <laughs> The island was a lot of work and love. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie of all time, and I wanted to do it justice. And I think you did. Be our guest, of course. Oh, my God, the socks. No, that's perfect. Look at this. Look at this. One is for me. Okay, I can, I can accept one being for you. Okay, and then we also have Elmer at home. All right. We also have Elmer at home. Elmer... Elmer was the dad? No, who was the dad?
They were cute socks. I know what the little halter thing is. Thank you for redeeming the war. Very cute. I really think you captured those interiors very well, too. I like how the wallpaper, it's basically, it captures, like, the, the outside stuff. And it really seems like those very rustic looking, um, like, older houses. Very cute. Oh, Maurice isn't here. Okay, that's perfectly fine. I felt, I honestly, I, you know, if I think about the one with Emma Watson, he didn't seem like that much of an important, I mean, he was just like, he was just kidnapped. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. So now we'll go to the left-hand side, right? I, am I remembering that correctly? Oh, and here is the entrance. Oh my God. Uh, that is so cool. All right. Mm-hmm. I tried to do a fra Fraggler rock-inspired island that was hard. Oh, I don't know what that is. Wait, have we have we talked to you before? Who are you? Are you are you a LeFou again? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's not something everyone knows. Oh, sorry. So I judged some of my builds. Yeah. It's also I feel like honestly I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes doing uh reference stuff is hard because everyone has kind of this specific like idea. And thought of what it's supposed to look like. And then it feels like you need to try and live up to it. Okay, can we talk about how pretty this is, please? I also love... I didn't know that there was a, a time with, like, maple leaf season. Uh, where the holly shrubs are in season. That's actually very pretty. This is the area for the basket and the gifts. Oh, I feel like... See, that's what I... That's where I kind of don't have the reference, like well enough but is she is she just heading into the forest from the opening scene uh, oh fraggle okay it's a jim henson puppet show from the 80s 90s oh i see the flower colors i know oh wait a wedding oh my god i feel like i should have watched this <laughs> when she heads into town she has her basket okay i see i see i also cat welcome on in you transition to Winter Island when? <laughs> Hollies are in season on November 1st. Oh, I guess I just always like avoid building with them. So I don't really know. Uh, Mads, welcome on in. Yeah, Gaston did try to marry her. Okay, I that's true. I didn't I didn't know he was he had like the entire thing set up, but that makes sense. Yeah, and so we like dress as Belle. We basically need to run past this because we are not interested okay we appreciate the beaches there's an easter egg by the house boots um oh god if anyone catches it please let me know bean tossing kit i'm sorry emily <laughs> okay and this is my house right she's heading oh yeah because we live like a little bit away from town she tossed out his muddy boots. Oh, I see. Cute. I like that. He failed miserably and LeFou ended up sat in the mud. Oh, let's go. Gemma knows what's up. I need to check. Is Disney, is um Beauty and the Beast, is that on Disney Plus? Because I should watch it. Oh, cute. Oh, I like the music here too. Uh, sub -island, not sub islands, community islands. So basically, uh, you just need a few like channel points to redeem it. I think two thousand five hundred is the. I kind of set it down. I think before it was three thousand. I set it down to two thousand five hundred because I thought that was probably enough. <gasps> Ooh, very very cute. Sips up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just it's just community. You're also referenced to the sequel in the castle. Oh my god. I don't... I'm not gonna know them. I'm not gonna know them. It is on Disney? Okay, very good. That was Belle's room, yes. <laughs> Tangled up in my cable. Oh, yes. Oh my god, the kitchen? Yes. I'm so unprepared, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so cute, though. It's still, like, even if I didn't know it, it's so cute. 
Okay, we have another room on the side to go into. A cactus welcome one in. I'm always unprepared though, you know? Oh my god, how pretty. Is this is this her dad's room then? Or or someone else's maybe. See, that's the issue probably. They all they might have also changed a couple of um they might have changed a couple of things for the Emma Watson movie, and that's the one I kind of uh kind of remember more. The true beauty and the beast fans will know. Oh my god. Yeah, it's true. See, Gemma is very excited. That's awesome. I mean, I'm also very excited, but I just I feel kind of bad because I'm probably not gonna catch every reference there is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best, okay? Oh, oh my god, this is like the workshop, right? It's like the crafty like workshop attic, whatever. Oh my god, how pretty though, with all those wood items. Oh my god. Oh, storage. All of Belle's mom stuff is stored away. Okay. Ooh, also the Happy Home Paradise frame, like, from the back looks kind of cute. Oh, well, since Maurice is elsewhere, I'm moving in. Okay. Otherwise, you're rather the epitome of prepared. What do you mean? I'm never prepared. I'm not German. I didn't send very detailed tattoo descriptions with like reference pictures that I labeled 1.1, 1.2 and so on to my uh, to the artist yesterday. No, no. <sighs> oh, this is the craft. OK, this is the craft st stuff. Yes, yes, yes. OK. I should have just been uh, I should have just been prepared. I I didn't know what. Uh listen i'm german okay what do you expect me to do <laughs> this is so cool you really did the film justice such an amazing build you've done beauty and the beast fan here let's go the sequel to beauty and the beast and little mermaid are actually good sequels i feel like maybe i've seen the one for little mermaid you know where she had like the kid and stuff i don't know though i'm not like actually super super uh sure on that oh my god look who's following us oh my god okay the forest is amazing hello doc excuse me i need to get through <gasps> wow nächstes mal bitte laminieren war ja digital konnte ich ja nicht bringt mir nichts oh my god this is amazing you're you're the queen of um when she wishes on a dandelion okay okay see that i also don't remember but holy crap what a pretty view i mean you don't have to know that movie at all to know that this is beautiful you're the you're the queen of views and the queen of custom designs so basically just the queen of everything at this point doc please i love you but no this is not the time for you <laughs> This is very beautiful. It's such a good use of the space thing. So smart. Yeah, for the craft stuff. True. Beauty and the Beast was my favorite Disney movie till Hunchback of Notre Dame came along. Oh, really? I'm not even sure I ever saw that one, to be fair. That was amazing. Yes. When she says she wants adventure. Ooh. Oh, there is a bridge. I love how people in the chat are like getting all the references though. Hunchback of Notre Dame is a great movie. I feel like it wouldn't that just make me sad now? <gasps> uh oh, we're gonna get lost here. I can tell. This is the thick forest. Uh oh. Oh no, our horse is gonna get spooked. Ah! <laughs> Actually, it's kind of. Oh wow. It's basically Maurice's horse that gets spooked, kind of, right? How rude of work to interrupt this pretty island, right? It really is. Okay, wait. I have a feeling I'm going to have to... Oh, yes. I'm going to have to hop over here. Yeah. Go through the mountains and through the thick forest, basically. And then over this bridge. And then we're going to probably... Our saving grace at some point is going to be the castle. Oh, my God. How long did it take you to fill this entire... Because I would just want to appreciate all of this is filled, you know? 
every tile here is filled. So I just do, I do want to appreciate all the work that went into this forest part. How long did that take you? When I when I did my forest fillers, I like I mean, oh wow, what the heck is going on here? <gasps> oh my god. I think it took me like four hours and oh my wait, we have Wolfgang here, of course. The wolf. Um, it took me like more than four hours, I think, or like maybe the video is like roughly four hours, but like all the time traveling is taken out. Oh yes. Cabin in the woods. Oh my god, all those spider webs. That's very smart. So so good. The interiors are so fitting. Oh my god, okay, I'm ready to see. Yeah, Wolfgang is the wolf that attacked Maurice. Yes. Um, no floor mod. I was gonna say, let's look at the the bridge surrounded by nothingness. Yeah, but like when I when I did that, it took me like four or five hours, and I feel like it wasn't as big of an area as this is. So this takes like a while. All right. And so now, you know, Maurice is shivering and scared, and the only thing he can, you know, is oh. Holy crap, Emily. <laughs> Emily really said like, this needs to be impressive shit. And it do be, it do be, it is. All right, okay. Is that Maurice on the ground? Maybe. <laughs> Oh gosh, that coat is hurting my brain. It's honestly, I'm like actually a little scared to walk on top of it. Maurice dropped his hat. Oh, I see. Maurice dropped his hat over here. Now jump. <laughs> ah! I feel like I, bro I broke the game. I should not be here. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's that's wild. I mean, this part is basically just a solid color, but like, tr you know, this and making it seem like it's, it's very, very awesome. All right. And then you've used the museum for this, which is very smart. Museum is part of the castle. Very smart move. Me loves. Me loves. And then it continues with all the other castle stuff over to the sides. Basically, we've got different houses. One, two houses on both sides. One house to the back. And we also, of course, have Tia living here. <gasps> I found a captive person. Hi. Oh, look at what look at Belle. Look at Belle and me. Belle and the Belle you ordered on Wish. <laughs> is that still a joke that people make? I don't think it is. Look at us. I forgot to change her message. No, that's perfectly fine. She would definitely be someone who says welcome. How are you? I love books. You know? Blathers give strong Cogsworth, uh, Cogsworth vibes. There actually is one, though. Uh, LeFou, stop following me. That's so freaking creepy. You are in the town. What are you doing here? <gasps> the Rose Garden. Oh, my God. This is very smart. Welcome to captivity. Yep. <laughs> That code is, like, so, so good. Oh, wait. What is this from? Are these just, like, Argyle thingies? I guess. Probably. Oh, gosh. Okay, so, um, if you're saying... Question? Okay. If you're saying, um, or gargoyles. Yes. Yes, that's what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> when the beast fights Gaston. Okay. Okay. So you're saying all the stuff is decorated, right? All the interiors. So I want to... Oh, wait. Look. <laughs> there he is. Oh, perfect. All right. So I want to go... I want to go and explore. Let me first see whose house this is. Nope. Misclicked. Uh, this was Lumiere. Okay. So we'll see what this is. We'll see what, what house this is. And then I think I still need to go to the... To oh, wow. Oh, this is like the entrance, kind of. Oh, look at them. 
Oh gosh. And the music. Yes. Perfect. Okay, let's go to the door to the room on the right hand side. A spot of online shopping. Yeah, sorry. I just needed just needed to do some some quick online shopping there. Oh wow. these standees everywhere i think i have an order of rooms but i don't remember it oh so like which one is the best one to go in first and then next up and so on yeah i mean i'm guessing this is literally like the entrance though right like this one here i feel like is the entrance oh and that's where maurice warms up when he enters the castle also maybe like i'm actually not doing terribly in terms of order then because you know entrance maurice warms up let's try this one uh, the power of God, Red Yoshi, welcome on in. Ooh, and the big staircase. So this is basically where I saw maybe this would have been second. This would have maybe been the second one. So you go in and then this is like the big staircase. You can really, you really have used all of your code spaces for sure. Hello. Oh, this is so good. Uh, this is so good. I hope you appreciate that I've just told my delivery driver I don't have time to chat because I was busy. <laughs> busy watching a masterpiece unfold. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Always. Mm -hmm. I love it, though. It does add a lot to your island, for sure. Like, the fact that you put so much effort into all these. Ooh. Wait. Is this... Is this Belle's room? And um, also, Kaya, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I'm completely ignoring work. I mean, we're touring your island. It's just fair. They need to understand. All right. So this is this is Belle's room with like the closet that comes to life, etc. And those beautiful windows. The dresser. Yes, I think this one is the perfect one, honestly. Awesome. I love it. I love all of this. Yes. Yes. All right. Let me see if. Oh, no, downstairs. Okay, so upstairs it is. Val, thank you. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Val, thank you so much for the 33-month resub. Thank you for deciding to resubscribe. Um, and I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you. The talking wardrobe. She was the first time I really liked the concept of bo boobs on other women. <laughs> oh my god, Gemma, I can't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, of course, we have the huge feast over here. All the cakes, all the stuffs. And then I'm guessing this is Belle's place to sit over here. She's getting served by the teacup over there. And of course, um, wait, what's his name in, what's his name in English? And in German, it's Tassilo. What's his name? <laughs> Me at the table, let's go, yeah. Chip. Oh, Chip, of course. Chip. Yes, yes, yes. Because he literally... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip. It's Tassilo in German, right? Tassilo. Oh, and then some Dustin over here. Yes. And then all those pictures. I gotta appreciate all the Treasure Island runs you probably did for all those paintings. Make sure to try the gray stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> Also, Cozy Darling, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. All right, so I think maybe this room, the one in the back, that would have been great. Then the Maurice warming up room. And then probably, and then probably um, Belle's room and then be our guest. That might have been like a good order, depending on what we're going to see in these other rooms or houses. Sorry, in these other houses. That's Lumiere's side piece, not a duster. Thank you very much. Oopsie, sorry. Ooh, all right. Okay, can I go into these rooms? I can. All right, the castle vibes continue, of course. Very heavily guarded. I do have a feeling we're going to stumble upon the beast's room here. It's about the same order here, too. Okay, so back room was the first one I maybe should have gone into. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes, this is the this is the dusty room that's basically been like abandoned okay why the baubles remind me please from the sequel oh i feel like the, isn't this in the in the emma watson thing is there's this one room that's like very left behind or am i thinking about a different movie right now 
Oh, okay. In the storage room when they want to decorate for Christmas. Okay, I might be thinking of something else then. All right, okay. We got the music, the doll. We could be on a horror island right now. <laughs> also, Bumpy, by the way, I'm not sure if you're still listening. I think you asked what tea I'm drinking, and I read it, but I didn't answer. Uh, it's just a peppermint tea with honey because of my, my throat. <laughs> Oh, and then this is also from the sequel. This is basically when they have decorated for Christmas then. Right? All right. The sequel, love. Uh, and is it... Lu oh my gosh. Lufita? Luf Luf Lufita? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on it. I'm sorry. I probably butchered that name. <laughs> With her beautiful pink coat. Okay. See, that's where you can tell. I've re I definitely have not watched the sequel because I don't remember anything about Christmas when it comes to Beauty and the Beast. But, you know. I had to fill up the rooms. Yeah, you have so many houses. I'm, like, actually impressed that you even managed to fill it up at all. All right. Oh my God, the stickers and kind of this up-down line. That's kind of cool. That is very cool. This is the scene with Maestro, the villain of the sequel. Oh, right. Okay. Maestro. That's the... Is that the piano? The stickers are pretty accurate to the scene. Oh, so so it kind of Animal Crossing like worked out for you there. That is a rare thing to happen, but we love it. <laughs> um, this is convincing me to watch the sequel. Yeah, kind of same. Okay, my chat just really like my chat just disconnected for a quick second. I hope everything else is okay. <gasps> okay. I feel like the lights make this very hard to see for me. Literally have to shield my eyes because of because of lights. Okay. Creepy. Again, this could be a horror island right now. <laughs> I feel like I've been living under a rock. I didn't even know there was a sequel. To be fair, I feel like a lot of the sequels are... Um, no, not too dark. No, Emily. I think it's... The thing is I just have two giant LED panel lights shining into my face. So, like, anything that's very dark on screen is usually a bit of a struggle for me. But that's not... That's not your fault. Oh, that's the dungeon where Maurice is. Okay. Um, and Quack, welcome on in. Oh, uh, yeah. But to be fair, a lot of the sequels, I feel like, are kind of low-key in a sense. Oh, nice. This is basically, like, either the same or very similar to, um, to the first house that we saw, I think. Um... The Christmas sequel was almost just as good as the original, though. Really? Interesting. Ooh, the library, of course. Can I hold my book in here, too? Yes. Don't just turn off the light, girl. <laughs> Don't do that. Nice. Rude, I know, right? She just, like, jumped up and turned the entire chandelier off. I mean, hello. <laughs> yeah, we watched, like, this video about Disney stuff the other day about how Disney, like, the original Disney creator kind of wasn't really, didn't believe in sequels, basically. Oh. The fancy dinner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and how, like, the current, I think the current CEO of Disney is basically kind of ruining it a little bit here and there. Interesting video. Um, kind of almost, like, agree with a few of the, the points that they, that they made, but yeah. They have the dance, yes. All right. Second to last room, maybe? <gasps> Oh my god, wait, that wall is so freaking smart. The wall with the rose is so smart with that rain in the background. Oh, very good. Cinderella sequel, their perfection so much better than the original. Oh. Yeah, I really don't... Stop doing that, girl. I really don't know, um... I don't know a lot of sequels, I think. 
Very, very cool. And Polly also, welcome to the chat. There are too many sequels and not enough originals, which is sad. Yeah, also something I kind of don't like is a lot of times they'll add, especially now that there's Disney Plus, I feel like they add so many different, like, they have like a short sequel and like, um, oh, this is the dance room. Oh my God, yes. Um, they have so many different sequels and they have so many different, like, they have shows. They have, like, all these added things, but then they don't really do, like, the original, like, movie stuff. Yeah. I love how I can hear each music piece from the movie as we look at each room. Yeah. I think Emily, like, took quite a bit of time to figure out what the perfect, uh, the perfect songs were, too. The window is awesome. Yes. I didn't know there was a Cinderella sequel. Me, ne me either. The sequel to Lilo and Stitch is my favorite. Oh, I also have not seen that one. Uh, Annie, welcome on in. This is Emily's Island, and I absolutely agree. It's been amazing. I think we do have one more thing to look at, if I'm not mistaken. Like, one more area, but it's been absolutely amazing. The attention to detail. Yeah, right? It's so good. Okay, I think we might have to head back out of the castle. I, I think so. And then we probably have to go somewhere over here. Oh, yeah. Path kind of snakes through here. Hopefully the beast show up. The beast shows up. No, but you know who did? Freaking LeFou. <laughs> I liked you in the movie, but... <laughs> You're starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. LeFou, excuse me. Oh my God, you did so much filler decorating. That must have taken forever. Forever. This is the mob scene. Oh yeah, okay. LeFou is searching for, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wasting in my lonely tower. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> oh, I love that. LeFou is searching for his mans. Yeah, but I, Gaston wasn't Gaston home. He just needs to go to his house. Oh my god, this was so so good. Did we miss anything, Emily? Because now we're back in the town. We have seen the castle. We've seen the the woods part. Uh, bookshop. I don't think was open. Um, bookshop, I don't, that was somewhere here to the left, right? Left, right? Bookshop, yeah, bookshop, unfortunately, is not open. Nope, nope. I don't think so. I don't mean Gaston. Wait, who is, who is LeFou's, uh, who is LeFou's mans then? Then that's everything. Okay, I'm sad that that that, that Doc wasn't. Yeah, oh, Doc, remember Doc annoyed us. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was incredible, Emily. You did an amazing job. I mean, again, I apologize for not getting all the references. Um, but oh, Lafu danced with that dude at the end of the movie. Oh my god, true. Yeah, he was kind of into Gaston, but he danced with someone else. Yes. Ah, oh, thank you everyone for the very, very sweet words also. It's so, so good. Great job, Emily. I, I absolutely agree. Thank you for sharing um, that island with us. And I hope you had as much fun at least um, building that island as we had touring it. Because I know like it can be really fun to work on reference things and then have it somewhat work out. You know what? You get to the point of you're like, oh, wait, this is... Maybe this is starting to look like it. And then it's kind of like a very big rush of like happy vibes, serotonin, basically. Um, so I hope you had fun. But that was amazing. Thank you so much. All righty. Next up, we will go to. Oh, yeah. Also, mods, you can accept Emily's uh, DA redemption thing. Uh, next up, Chrissy, we'll go to your island. Um, so you can also uh, put the. Um, Put the DA in the chat again with like a little snippet of what it is if you want to. Um, and if you want to, you can also uh, link your your Instagram because I know you've been you've been quite active on there, too. So, yeah, it's my favorite island I've done. Let's go. I love that. OK, nine, nine, seven, seven, nine, two, four, seven. 
five, three, six, one. Okay, so this is going to be Chrissy's Island, aka uh, Swiftily in the chat. Again, I'm going to just copy, copy that DA for myself for later. Oh yeah, Kuslinia. Okay, okay. That's the one we're looking at. So this is going to be like a coastal town, I think, like or like a coastal, uh, somewhat coastal island. Um, technically, Chrissy. Uh, let me just see. DA Redemptions. Um, I actually I actually still have an open redemption from you, Chrissy. So in case, like, if one of the mods wants to basically reject Chrissy's channel point redemption, and then you can get the points back, I feel like you're not gonna, you're not gonna, like, care about it too much. But technically, I still have an open one, so I could give you the points back. Also, Cactus, thank you for redeeming. I am making my way through it, like, chronologically, so... Uh, we'll see and I hopefully will get to it, but yes It's a great coincidence. I'm currently reading the uh, beast within out of the Disney villain book series. Ooh I've only looked at the screen now and then but I saw it was gorgeous. I've saved the DA to visit later. Yes, absolutely All right, currently touring Kuslinia Kus um, by Swiftily. It's a no terraforming coastal town with slight Scandinavian influences. I've never been to a Scandinavian island. <laughs> Interiors are not done. Okay, Instagram is Atami underscore crossing. All right, perfect. Thank you, Chrissy. Um, yeah, so that's kind of... Um, it's Swedish, but it's basically it's basically almost the same word in German as well, uh, which would be Kust, Kustenlinie. Kust, I don't know. It's like similar. I don't even know. What would the, what would the German word be for it? Or coastline. Küste. That's it. All right. So no terraforming. Yeah. Okay. Just just that. Okay. Um, no terraforming coastal town with slight Scandinavian influences. Okay. No terraforming is kind of awesome. I'm excited for that. I have not seen a no coast. Uh, no, no coastal. No um, terraforming island in quite a while. All right. So we do have Chrissy very close to the resident services. And then as for villagers, we have Agnes, Kit Kat, Eric, Piper, uh, Roscoe, Groucho, Bruce, Kurt, Bam, and Colton. A lot of um, a lot of grumpy ones, like a lot of grant cranky villagers, I think. Cute. I'll be glancing over to see the pretty islands. Yes. Ooh, all right. All right. This oh yeah. And I saw the pictures. Oh my god, your outfit is so cute. Wait, is that t-shirt like a custom design or is that one in the game? I don't like fish. I don't know if you've chosen the perfect island to live on then. <laughs> and welcome on in, Anika. Oh my god, this is beautiful. All right, we do have a whole bunch of presents, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. Um, the t-shirt is a custom design. Okay, because I thought so. I was like, wait, I don't feel, I feel like I don't know that. Um... All right, maybe I should open it first and check if there's if there's options and, and so I don't get confused. All right, did you change your outfit for the dream? So basically, I was wearing like an outfit that Emily gave me for the last island. Um, and then it just reverts back to the one that I was wearing on my own. So now I'm just wearing the one that I came with again and I will put on the outfit that Chrissy gave me. Okay, we've got one option of socks, one options of a and like an outfit itself. Uh, two options of shoes, though. We got rubber toe sneakers or the pleather sneakers. Okay, I'll do pleather sneakers. And then I'm assuming these will be like handheld things. Very cute. I'm... This is this is kind of, I think, the lighting that I would want to have for... Yeah, 613. This is the lighting I think I want to have for my new island also. I got a personal tour of this island from the legend herself. I may have sobbed. I have pictures of Chrissy and myself at this bus stop as my phone lock screen. Oh my god, cute. All right, I'm scared of losing my balloon, so I'll I'll hold my little um my little pennant. September 6 a.m. My favorite vibe. Ooh, okay, September. Interesting. Yeah, because I don't know exactly what type, like what season I'm gonna do, but 6 a.m. is definitely like this type of this type of like sky color. That's basically what I want. 
Alrighty, so we have basically already looked at the map. I I don't know. Let's go to the left first. Um okay, we have a we have um no interiors, you said, right? So not no houses that we need to go into. We have a lovely little diagonal flower farm. I love these. And lots and lots of filler stuff. All right. I'm I I'm, I'm going to venture off into the <laughs> into the into the thick um forest. I don't know. Um but it does seem like it's just kind of some fillers around it. Very pretty here though. I like I like the the bus stop as the entrance. Okay, Piper, Colton and Groucher are uh no, Piper, Colton, Groucher and Roscoe are technically done, so can be visible, but also don't have to be, okay. Piper Okay, Colton top right. Piper? Oh, that was Piper, okay. Groucho? Alright. And Roscoe. Okay, so the, the two houses in the back and then one of the houses on the right hand side. I don't know if Piper Piper is home, so we can quickly check. Yeah. I'm gonna try to be quick about interiors because, you know, loading screens and whatnot, but we can still kind of see. Ooh, cute. Oh, I like this though, with the partition wall there in the back and stuff. Look, kitchen, living room, bedroom, like an actual like small little apartment. Very, very cute. To be like, um, excuse me. <laughs> 6 a.m. was my favorite time in the game. It's not as dark as five and not so bright. Not as bright as seven. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. And the thing about 5 a.m., I feel like that kind of annoys me is that like anything, if you tried to create like a view. It just doesn't, it just doesn't really work out. Okay, I love the fake building here. Oh, it's actually like, it's not a fake building. Never mind. I saw the storefront, so I was like, ooh, yes. And then that roof. But it actually is a house, which I also love. <laughs> and your own house is like this, this kind of cabin. When I like the rope, um, the rope fencing as well. Eh. Excuse me. <laughs> Trying to get through here. Oh, yes. The sign turned backwards. I love. And then I feel like 6 a.m. is like peaceful, like especially when it comes in. in uh, I don't know when there's like water. I just it's it's so pretty. My favorites are 5 p.m., 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., but I never play during the bright daylight. Yeah, bright daylight. I remember like Neverland. Neverland was uploaded during that time and I don't know how I don't know why I did that I think it was because there was like a rainbow and I wanted to kind of get that rainbow in the DA I love this street oh my god and the way it like wraps around this little pond here me loves me loves I wanted to do all the interiors but I kind of gave up I also deleted the island off my spicy switch now so I can't go back perfectly okay though I think that's really fine Oh my god, Chrissy, are you the next LeFou? Are you just gonna follow us everywhere? Also, why do you have that fishing purse thing if you don't like fish? Okay, but I do like these. These are like fishing houses, kind of. There's like a fishing spot over here. And they've got like the drying rack up. The houses itself look kind of like a fishing village. Oh, they won some freaking trophies. They won some trophies. Kid Cat is walking around here. There's like a little car repair shop. I love it. And the tur wind turbines, too. Gosh. But yeah, not gonna lie. This is, this is kind of, this is kind of goals. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Polina. I love to decorate during 5 a.m. I feel like I kind of don't because, to be fair, well, I like the street also. To be fair, I don't really play with sound a lot, especially like except for on stream. I feel like on stream I always play with sound, but apart from that, never. Ooh. All right. I think I'll go kind of down here first so I kind of have all this looked at. I like those natural vibes, you know, with the rope fencing and then we've got a whole bunch of trees everywhere. Oh, and Kid Cat has like a little red inspired area. I see. That's very cute. A little red cliff for Kid Cat. And then he lives very close to the campsite. Um, I placed all three fishing trophies. Oh my god, you could literally do this like like treasure treasure hunt on your island. <laughs> um but yeah, 5 a.m. I really don't decorate in a lot because the music I don't really hear, and then I feel like it's too dark. Like I feel like I can't really decorate that well because it's so dark. 
Wait, what is this? Bean tossing kit. The lighting for some reason makes my brain think of the smell of dew drops. Ooh. I see that though, yes. Oh, and then over here we've got the farm section. Okay, let me see again who was Colton. I think, I don't know if they're home. And Cozy Darling, welcome to the chat also. Oh, Colton is home. Okay, we'll check then. I love that Chrissy isn't afraid to go with the more unconventional villagers. It makes me, it makes it feel authentic that there's uh, different styles of people despite there being a theme kind of like in real life. Kind of like real life. Yeah, true, true. Ooh, of course, themed with the farm outside, you know, vegetable, uh, the vegetable harvest, lots of like, um, like tomato sauce. He seems to be like cooking stuff. Colton is a healthy boy. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Colton and Roscoe's houses are identical, just different color schemes. They sell veggie baskets. Ooh, smart. Um, also, Mary Mamizuki, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Everything is so chaotic and well thought out at the same time. I really love that. Yeah, true. For sure. Okay, I think I maybe need to go downstairs to continue, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And this is no terraforming, you know? You can do, like, so much with, like, different tree sizes, I think. Like, you really don't need to do wild... Um, while landscaping stuff. Okay, we're heading on to the Evil Sisters. A little bike parked in the middle of the um, of the forest. And then once again, the very calm vibes kind of continue throughout. Oh, and we've got a whole bunch of tulips. Oh, is this the area that you, to you told me about? With the hyacinth and the tulips? Oh my god, the... <laughs> the outfit. <laughs> the outfit is great. I love that. Okay, where do I go now? Do I climb down down somewhere? I don't think I can. I go back probably, right? I probably go back. The pitcher and fountain, yeah. The natural stuff is sometimes so easy with the no terraforming or flat islands. Um, because you can't landscape, so it either works or it doesn't. It's like easy choices. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. And it also just takes a lot of the... Um, it, it takes a lot of the, like, decisions away from you, which I think is very good. Because I do get decision fatigue when building, to be fair. I would love an island like that. Mary, welcome to the chat. Hello. The vibes are immaculate. Oh my god, look at Groucho. I did a similar area to that on Everlore with Hyacins here. Use tulips because I love them. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, okay, we got a little bit of box core behind Nook's Cranny. Okay, so they're probably getting like a delivery over here. I like that a lot too. Uh, Kurt, wait, what did I say? What did I say? Oh, did I say Groucho? Listen, it's two head bonk babies. It's, they're basically the same. They're basically the same. And then we have more vegetables offered over here. Very cute. I like how you kind of almost covered the pumpkin. I don't know if that... I mean, you, you kind of use, like, pumpkin stuff, but it's... It kind of works. Are you called Kurt by his husband's name? Oops, sorry. Hi, Bam. I love this little thing here with the boats and stuff that also is behind resident services. Like, all these little little boxy, boxes with the borders around it. I like that. That's a very, very cute idea. I adore the simple and natural decorating, yes. Oh, I like the street here too. Okay, let me see. We have not been to this part. We definitely haven't seen this fountain part. We've seen the house in front. That was the entrance part, I think. Okay. <gasps> the little gnome. Oh my god. Again, we've got little matching houses, basically. I really like that. The boat behind my house is currently being fixed. All right, all right. I hope that they're hurrying up. Oh, there's Groucho. Uh, Learn Place, also, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. And then here is the, um, here's the museum. Yeah, the, that we kind of, kind of saw that um, from, we kind of, kind of saw that. We kind of saw that from upstairs. <gasps> Ooh, perfect island. 
I'm obsessed with the tulips. They're currently becoming my favorite flower. They're very pretty. I feel like for me, mums and mums and tulips are probably my favorite. I would say. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there's another fishing trophy. Cute. I didn't even know, like... I didn't even know you got, like, actual trophies like that. But, you know... I guess, uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't really play the, um, the, the event thingies anymore. Very cute. All right, let me think. So, um, I think I saw everything. Oh, there's another trophy. Okay, I found all three of them. I found all three of them. Okay, well, hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, it was, was a very quick tour. Yeah, I mean, you know, the all the interiors on Emily's Island. And then if it's like a simpler, quote unquote, simpler island with like filler stuff, you kind of just like you, you kind of walk through it and you appreciate it. But, you know, that wasn't meant as like, you know. Kersey, thank you so much for sharing this island with us. Very pretty. I did really enjoy it a lot. I did really, really enjoy it a lot. Um, you know, I, I do plan on actually creating like a more minimalistic island very soon as well. So, yeah. And also, Kat, welcome on in. I managed to be here for a bit. Is it okay if I submit my island even though I couldn't be here for so long? Uh, if you're here for your tour then later on, then yes. Yes, I just don't I don't want to tour any island of like people who aren't here. But if you're if you're going to be here, yeah, for sure. And next up, we've got Schmaggy's Island. And Schmaggy actually already put the description and stuff in as well. So, um, so you can probably copy paste it out there. Um, Trifolia is a fairy tale mushroom themed island with lots of red and pink. Oh yeah, I I just found your your Instagram as well, and I think you've that you've been posting about that one. Pink is superior. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Represents the imaginary world of a little girl. Ooh, that sounds kind of interesting. I'm intrigued. Is that island had actually uh, actually had five stars since very early on? I was drowning in Lily the Valleys. Oh God, I would have been so annoyed. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Noah, Chrissy, thank you so much for sharing. And also, like I said, you can give Chrissy her points back if you want to, because Chrissy did actually still have an open redemption, which I have now deleted. So no, no more open, no more open redemption. Okay, Schmaggy. It's just me saying how much quicker it was compared to Emily's. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was because of like no interiors and all of that. I gotta head off to my cinema date. Thank you for the island tour. The tour is the end of worries. Thank you for hanging out. Let's try that again. I'll wait until Wednesday then, yeah. Anything that isn't tour today, we can we can definitely do another day. Okay, wait. 9444 Okay, I think you might have had a typo there, Schmeige. I think there might have been a typo. I don't know if you posted it on Instagram. Oh, yeah, okay. So in the redemption, you, the last, you got like seven, eight, four, six. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> um. 
Okay, now we got it. No worries. <laughs> no worries. Let me just correct that for myself as well. Okay. You set an alarm for stream? Gosh, you don't have to set an alarm for stream. Especially not... I'm a little spicy today, so... <laughs> you were going to IRL dream addresses? Oh my god, true. <sighs> all right let's go ahead and get started oh i like the lighting you've basically chosen a day kind of like i had once on sycamore where oh, where i um i was kind of like oh it's also like orange and and uh pinkish tinted and reddish tinted I saw snippets of the island. It was very cute. I saw some pictures on Instagram and it looks amazing. Uh, Brandon, welcome on in. Hello. And then uh, Lexi, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Oh my lord, the map. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. We have Klee and then we have Stella, Ketchup, Colton, Elvis, Knox, Dom, Chevre, Poppy, Apple and Mayo. All right. Oh, I'm not sure if you are cat because like it's not a fun spicy day. I'm like literally just annoyed at a lot of stuff. And I like I just I go off on people for no reason. So <laughs> thank you for that follow as well, Brandon. Um, the map is beautiful to start with that. Yes. The map is very, very beautiful. Um, I'm very excited for this. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of presents. Ooh, this is gonna be detailed tech. Also, Schmeggy, do you have your interiors done and do you want me to check or do we skip? Trifolia because of Klee and there are clovers on the map. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, custom design slay. You've literally covered this entire like part in in-game design, like in-game path, and then you've added path on top. That is actually very pretty. The map is something I can only dream of making. That's incredible. Yes. Huh, that's why you're suspicious. <laughs> I was like, why? Why are they marked as suspicious? That's I don't remember them. Uh that was probably like a shared a shared suspicious list, so makes sense. Anyway. <laughs> um wait, waiting. I didn't see them as sus? Really? I saw them as sus. I've had spicy mood too this week. My poor husband. Yeah. That's the middle word predictive keyboard text. The what? The what? Okay, so wait, what did you shape as clovers? The river. Oh, oh my God. Wait, that is so smart. Okay. I love, I love, I love, um, let me see. So the entrance is basically towards the bottom, right? Um, outfit is very cute. Okay. Now we have a couple of props to hold. Foxtail. I love to see it. We've got a red balloon. We have cotton candy. I love that too. Okay, you can start exploring the town and then go up. All right. I'm assuming I'm in the town then, right? Spicy typically means content of a sexual nature. No, no, like spicy is like I'm... I'll clap back at you. If you annoy me today, I will... I will talk back to you. That's basically what that means. Oh, and it looks like we have a separate, uh, a separate outfit. Okay, so we can either have, oh, we can have a fairy tale dress. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, I do have to wear my glasses, though. I can't see. Can I? Can I go like this dress, but like, but like, um, crown? 
I'm gonna steal all of the ideas from this island. Yeah, so pretty. Oh no, I know. I know that it. I don't think people took it that way though. <laughs> I know that it can mean that. See, that's what I mean. I'm like, I'm not stupid. I know that. See, that's what I mean. That wouldn't usually happen, but it's just kind of like, yeah, I know. <laughs> you can mix and match. Oh my god, look. I feel like my 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 little my little strands, my stra hair strands don't work perfectly when I don't have like a hat. But it's so cute. Okay, let's explore. We have a freaking entire market. Okay, I just want to see. Is this a Okay, what is considered town, though? You can explore the town and then go up. <gasps> wow, my god, look at all the codes you've used. Oh, wait, I think I found the entrance. Is this Calathea or Sycamore, Meline? This is Calathea, Meline. This is, this is Calathea. Holy crap, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm obsessed already. Uh, you can also start at the entrance break. It's like, okay, whatever. If you were there, I'm not taking any chance today. You can start there. That's fine. Oh my god, this is truly like a fairy tale dream. This is actually kind of the mind of a little of a little kid. You know, on your phone where it suggests words above the keyboard and you can just hit the suggested words. I think that's what that was. Oh, I mean, we can also just go ahead and do like a long timeout and then see like if they use their second chance a little bit better and not ban right away. We can also do that. Maybe it was like a mistake, but yeah. The tent, the museum tent, the color scheme. I looked up and was blown away. Have you seen the map? Like, have you seen the map? It is so, so good. I have a friend who regularly says things that are euphemistic and has no idea. Oh, I, I see. I see. Okay. I'm, I feel like I'm not going in the right direction. I need to go. I need to go to the town. Look at all of these codes. This path is very cute. I've never seen this. Has a lot of dead ends. Okay. So you have to go back often. Okay. That's good to know. And then here seems to be like the market, the market square. Oh my God, this dress is beautiful. Able Sisters, there's a tea party right here by Able Sisters. And all of these like fake buildings. Are you kidding me? Oh, your, your villagers were also really, really well picked. The little fake buildings here, that bug, it did not fit. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's adorable. And all the toys here. Okay, and then we have some gyrates greeting us into the market. So let's go explore that one. We do have some like apple treats, some apple juice, some jam, some cake. Oh, like a little toy. Oh my God, see, almost the eggplant thingy. I am amazed, me too. I do really like this path like on the in-game dirt, I have to say. Oh my god, and in all of these little toy areas. And go onto the beach, park your little car there. Cat, did you put on like the washing machine or am I hearing things? I'm like, what is that sound? That is the most questionable item in Animal Crossing. Yeah, the eggplant and the cucumber cow stuff. Mm hmm. Now go up. Okay, I go up. Oh my god. This is the Fantasy Forest Island I've always wanted to create. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is so cute. And like you've combined a whole bunch of different different like path thingies. You've done like a little bit of circular pathing. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this tomato farm. I love this tomato farm. Okay, wait. Did I ask about the interiors? <laughs> I don't remember. And then there's a little gnome picnic in the back here. Oh, this is very cute. On the cliff is a viewpoint. Okay. I 
I don't really like red and this is so red, but I absolutely love this. Let's go. I don't remember why they were added, the cucumber cows. I don't know. I don't remember either. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, we love a good viewpoint. Interiors are uh, done, but really basic. Okay. Just make sure to visit the rep's house. Okay. Yep. That's the stuff. So cute. Okay, we're going to take a very, uh, very quick trip then. The use of the giant vines. Yep. Red is my favorite color, so I'm living for this. Yeah, I love this too. I agree with chat for sure. Very basic, you said? This isn't basic. It's cute. She also has like a full on like kitchen, living room. This is cute. I wouldn't say this is basic. It's also the prettiest tomato farm I've ever seen. It's very cute, yes. Open the decor balloon presents. Oh, I see someone's someone wants to know what's up. A grasshopper head head model. Mm -hmm, sure, sure. Uh, you can go back to the entrance and then go right. Okay, I will pick up any presents I find along the way then. <laughs> oh God. It's kind of like a good idea to build like a red island because you can utilize these presents. I definitely remember that I saw one before, which I think was somewhere by the entrance. Oh yeah, there's one. Ew, instant regret. Yep. Yep. Diner sofa. Okay. Uh, was there another one? No. Okay. So entrance and then go right. Oh, cute. Okay. Oh my god, Poppy. Poppy with the little Poppy flowers, basically. I bet it was red, the diner sofa. Probably. Oh my god, all the little picnics. I love it. I'm gonna have to sneeze. Poppy is helping with Blather's research. Of course she is. Oh my god. Excuse me. It kind of... I thought it was coming. Oh, that hurt my neck a little bit. Then I thought it wasn't coming, and then it it caught me off guard. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank you, everyone. Another present on the cliff. Oh, did I miss that? Oh, I might have missed it. Oh, back there. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can get there, though. The attention to detail. I know everything is, like, thought out and thought through. Little well, candies, mushrooms, the flowers, all the different codes, like the heart-shaped stuff. We've got, like, blanket codes here. I like this one, too. It's the resin rep also. Or clover stuff. Oh, cute. I love how I saw the bless you before the sneeze. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, delay like on if you're playing the stream on your uh, TV or something. Yeah. <gasps> this is cute. Oh my God, the way the, the way the planks like circle through this. Are you kidding me? This is Apple's home, of course. And then who was here? Chevre. Oh my god, that's absolutely incredible. Oh wait, I found you. I don't know if I can f I can get to you though. Uh, Bailey, welcome on in. I love playing cozy games in Fortnite. I can't wait to see it. everyone's islands for some good inspiration. Let's go, welcome on in. And also Mama Ruby, welcome on in. Your rep is so cute. Yeah, this island is beautiful. It is by Schmeige in the chat. And Schmeige is also on Instagram. Uh, I'm like, I really like this blanket coat also. I really like that. Ooh, orchard. Yes. Apple orchard. There is a present on the beach. I repeat, there is a present on the beach. <laughs> the rep had me dying. She's so cute. Yes. Apple and Chevre are harvesting apples and they have a cafe. Wait, what did I do? 
Oh, I dropped... <laughs> I dropped iron nuggets. <laughs> Wait, there's a present by Chevrolet's house. Okay, hold on. We need to investigate. Littering! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and that was a dead end. I uh, anyways, okay, good. I'm watching yesterday's stream on YouTube and I noticed your stream right now. Oh, welcome on in, Peppy. Welcome on in. High tech sneakers. Interesting. I will keep mine, but yeah. Okay, so dead end, which means we are going to let's see, we're gonna go back over <gasps> present. Uh ooh. Thank you. I can't keep them, unfortunately, but I, I will take them. Okay, so we'll head up here. Probably. Oh my god, cute. I love these codes once again. Little dry road pathway. Very pretty landscaping. Oh, and then this is like the clover, basically. Right? Oh, we got another picnic over here. With your rocks also spawning. And then this is where you shape the clover, pretty much. Super cute. Wait. Oh, I see. I could have like run around this part and then gotten to the campsite. All right. Ooh, cute peninsula. Very cute. Like a campsite. Um, again, kind of imagine imaginary. Oh my God, this is a cute combination too. The little cup thing with the with the gyro on top. <laughs> cute circles. The de my depression would slip away if I lived here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can go to the left. Or we can go up. Let's go to the left first. I don't know. Although Shmaggy did say back and up. <gasps> Present. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. This is like the core of the childhood dream. Or maybe also a fever dream. I don't know. Oh my god, that's so cute! Emmy, welcome on in. I love the doilies as bridges and uh, as bridge and end pieces. Yes, a maximalist stream island. True as a childhood fever dream. <gasps> Ooh, all right. Ooh, mystical forest. All right, and then uh, you have blocked off some rooms here. I see. Okay, I will go downstairs then. I love the concert. Me too. Thank you for hanging out, Annie. I appreciate it. All right. And then here we've got a... Oh, I like the pillar here with the with the um, library stuff. We've got a... Uh, yeah, like a library over here. But then also some witchy elements. You know? This is probably when all, like, all of us kids always did like the mud soups and sand soup. And uh, we were kind of like hoping it would just lead to a like great potion a witch study you can go to one of the block rooms later oh so i sense a pipe incoming clay has always dreamed to be a mage just like her mom that's the story behind the room all oh, cute 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 <laughs> and the concert continues oh my god cute all of our heads right now mud soup have you not like mixed together like mud with like sticks and stuff as a kid and pretended it was like a soup i thought that was like a universal thing uh bailey thank you for the follow as well i appreciate it i'm obsessed with every aspect yes that's my head all day no of course you haven't you're too sophisticated of course you haven't, Persephone. <laughs> I always made mud soup. Good, good. Now go up the incline, okay. I'm assuming you mean this incline over here, right? And mud pies, yes. My parents had to pretend to try. Oh no, I, I don't think I made my parents try it. 
Because I kind of knew that it was like weird, but yeah. Ooh, like tiny diagonal farm. Very cute. And we have Stella and Dom. Dom? Dom, I think, living up here. Very cute. Okay, and then let's head over here. Ooh, I like this cliff pathway also. Oh, cute. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, the little, like, castle thingy, the little train. The train with the gyros. I'm gonna die. This is so cute. Look at them. <laughs> They're so precious. It's a tiny city. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Persephone non-existent mud soup would have had fancy foam on top and crouton croutons or something. Yep. Ooh, Mayel is like a fancy city builder. That's a town where the gyrus male with her ducklings live together. <gasps> All the ducklings! True! Cute. I grew up in the city. The little available mud was definitely not suitable for playing. Oh, I see. Yeah, I grew up in a cuff, so... That was... We could do that. Okay, and now... I have to backtrack, maybe. It's like a Moline hive train, but with gyroids. <laughs> oh my god, yes. That's a great idea for a train build, absolutely. Okay, now let's go up this incline here. Hi, Stella. Alright, wait, let me see what this connects to quickly. Uh, I probably, that's not going to work out quickly, okay. All right, and then Colton lives up here. Ooh, with those towers. I like that with the house combination. This is cute. And then, ooh, we get a viewing platform. We get a viewing platform. You're doing amazing, thank you. Oh, wow. And then I did that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. My prince living like a king. I mean, you know, everything that he deserves. He actually is home. As he should, Chrissy, exactly. He actually is home, so we're going to take a look real quick. Um, Let's see. Ooh. Oh, my God. Cozy and bougie at the same time. Oh, I like that corner build also. He is into some music. He has a very lovely, cozy corner over here. And then he also has some... Some clothing options. I feel like my like Colton needs to wear the paper crown. I feel like that that should happen. Oh. Why does my tailbone hurt so much? Is that a thing I get when I have a cold, or is that just me sitting weirdly? <laughs> okay, and now let's head back down and then go over the bridge, like I kind of already started beforehand. Yeah, and I think that doesn't connect. Oh, the floofs. We have a little floof area here with the smooch and floofs. Almost. And another present that I will pick up and uh, look at. It's going to be something random, but you know. Oh, yellow bamboo mat. I actually think... Uh, actually think I have... Oh my god, wow. I have all the recipes on this island. <gasps> look at this. A sunken, like, pond waterfall build. I always get a sensible back. <laughs> Who doesn't know the common tailbone cold? Hey, uh. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> All right, this leads to the orchard. That's where we were just coming from. And this is back to the... Oh, this is back to the airport. Okay, so this is the, the incline right behind the airport. And then over here, we have Knox. All right. Also kind of an interesting, interesting villager. I don't see him too often on any island. The sunken lake happened because Klee likes to play with bombs and things happen. It was Shmikey. Things happen. Ooh. Oh, wait, what is happening in, in this childhood brain? Okay, I like the, the, the partition again. Lots of money. Lots of fancy things. Some dead fish. Cool. 
Cool, cool. Some books. Nox is keeping the king in the path to the castle safe. Oh, I see. I will never listen to Schmeggy when she says that she's nervous about her islands. This is stunning. Yes. Absolutely. It's so pretty. I like that rock design also. Okay, and then... We probably could have... I don't know, do we climb here? This was probably just for transportation. Very pretty landscaping also. Me likey. And then I think we head over here. Over this wobbly land bridge. Oh, very pretty landscaping. Very pretty. And then this is... The castle. Very pretty landscaping. Oh my god, wait! This is almost kind of like that Sunghung land bridge that people, or like that Sunghung pathway that people were doing, but like inverted. Like that, the way the river is shaped. I kind of thought about doing that one. Um, that's very pretty. Oh my god, look at all these mushrooms and the dogs. I'll stop stunning now and start grinding through my last uh, 10 happy on paradise homes while enjoying all these gor gorgeous islands. Have fun. And welcome back, Kata. Retro sweater. Nice. Okay, interesting. Here is the... Okay, yeah, Cat never answered me, but that's definitely the washing machine. Oh, some painting. And then there's inclines on uh, both sides, of course, with a knight keeping it safe. And there's the pipe also, plus the villager here is actually home, which I love. This is so cool. Like with that inside stuff, can I go there? I can actually go there. Oh my God. With those like simple panel windows, very, very cool. I will go into the house first and then we jump into the pipe, I think. I'm building a canola field right now, and I'm underestimating how many flowers I'll need for that. Yeah. You're doing, like, all the all the ideas that I kind of had. Um, oh, okay. So we have, like, a bit of a, of a foresty, like, whimsical overgrown throne room with a very angry-looking king. Not gonna lie. And then electrical sounding gyroids. Okay. 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 So talented. Whoever can pull the sword out is very polar, uh, color, colorful, powerful. I probably can't. I probably cannot. <laughs> I'll go grab my pasta and have dinner watching and enjoying. Yes. Enjoy. Enjoy your pasta. Oh my God. Okay, this is my favorite room. The lighting in here is so cute. It's so cozy. Oh, and there's a picture of, um, there's a picture of Daisy May up. Cute. I ended up making pasta too. Oh my God, everyone's having pasta. <laughs> it's okay, Chrissy. It's okay. I don't I don't I don't mean to make you anxious. I can message you about it later, but don't worry, it's okay. The last room is just a children's room because Trifolia is just imagination and Clea is just in this room. Oh thinking of Trifolia. Oh cute. Okay, wait, how do I get to that part? I probably have to jump here and then I have to like go from Oh, no, wait, that was the tomato farm. Oh, wait, did I do it? Did I get everything? Did I see everything? I'm eating pasta for lunch right now. Let's go. All the pasta eaters. <laughs> I did have pasta before falling asleep. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Ruby, welcome on in. I think maybe I've seen it all because the back left was the mush, not the mushroom, the tomato farm. I didn't get the memo. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've seen everything. Thank you so much for sharing that island, Maggie. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm very, very blown away. Um, you did an awesome job. I don't even, I'm like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I really appreciate it.
Thank you for sharing that. I stuck with the Italian theme, but I had pizza for dinner. Okay, also okay. I would I would take some pizza for dinner. Okay, let me see. We did Emily's Island. We did Chrissy's Island. We did Schmikey. Okay, next up we got Sherry Crossing. All right. Who is also definitely here. So we can go ahead and head over there as well. Guess what I had for dinner? Pizza. Yum. That was very adorable and very yeah, dreamy. Very, very good way, word to describe that. Yes. Okay. Also, and in case you want to share a couple of snippets, um, we might only do like, we'll see. I don't know. I feel like I need to be careful about my voice because I'm starting, I like, I can feel it not being so great. <laughs> So I might like not take a break and just do maybe like two more islands and then we'll see how it's how it's going. And then maybe we'll do like I'll I'll open the redemption stuff again on Wednesday. So anything we don't get to today, we'll we'll get to at some later point this week, I guess. But yeah. Five, two, see, oh God, my brain, five, two, one, two, two, eight, one, eight. Oh my God, you, you don't seriously have three, four, five, six as your last digit. That's so good. Three, four, five, six. Okay, Marigold is a cozy fall themed island that's ready for turkey day. All interiors are done, but only the main rooms of the two additional reps, but beaches aren't. Okay, all interiors are done, but beaches aren't. All right. I will go and also write this down. Thank you, Chrissy. Um, okay. I will rewatch the stream whenever I doubt myself. Yes. Yes, you do that. No reason to doubt yourself. Absolutely not. The best dream address numbers. You, the only thing you're missing is a 69. In the DA, I mean. The best way to explore is to start at the airport and go to the right and then circle around. Okay, I will try my best. I will definitely try my best. We'll see whoever is home. Um, uh, main rooms and of the two, two additional reps. Okay, so all interiors are done, but the two additional reps, only the main one. Beaches aren't done. Okay. <sighs> oh, I'm liking these colors. Also, we do have another um, red tree season. Oh, I like the sky for sure. Look at these clouds. Was Emily's Dark Academia Island the first one we toured today? No, the first one was Emily's uh, Beauty and the Beast Island. <gasps> Very cute codes again. Excuse me, Sally. Excuse me. Oh my God, wait, your map looks so cool with the diagonal thingies. All right, Marigold. We have Sherry, we have Rosie, and Hildy. And then as a, oh my god, perfect villager lineup, I feel like, for what I've seen so far. We've got Bo, Audie, Poppy, Teddy, Fauna, Ellie, Sally, Rudy, Bones, and Pearl. All right. Ooh, beautiful food setup over here uh, uh, already. We have a resident rep also already greeting us, or not a resident rep, but like a villager. Uh, Hildy, you can buy yourself flowers. Okay, where is the entrance? Must be some... Wow, okay, I love the path. Circling around. I love the flowers. Oh, that's the dirt patches underneath the... Oh, did you... um, Did you put the dirt patches underneath the shrubs because you wanted something, like, happening on the map? Because <laughs> that's what I would have done. The, yeah, the first, imagine the first digit would have been like 69, 69, and then the last ones are like three, four, five, six. <laughs> the rep was named after my cat. Ooh, cute. Yeah, Emily's Island was awesome. I got the idea from you on, oh my god, true weight on Calathea, right? Yes, true. All right, denim overalls. We've got a do rag again. We have the shoes that I don't don't know how to pronounce. We have socks. 
and we have a knapsack and what do i do with these can, oh i can i can actually eat them okay we got chocolates we got chocolates okay cute so an island that's ready for turkey day so everyone probably has decorations up balloons flowers all the type of stuff and we do definitely see some of the castle tower or castle items okay gorgeous wow. absolutely gorgeous i think i see a canal or something over to the right hand side which i'm very excited i hope your chores go well thomas the diagonal farm at the top left was also inspired by calathea oh i'm excited to um i'm excited to see that uh fall mushy thank you for the follow and welcome on in Okay, we've got Ellie walking around here. <gasps> we've got boats. Basically, oh yeah, by like a little canal. Okay, that is gorgeous. I kind of want to, uh, you know, circle around this part. We'll probably go here a little bit later and I'll go to the right-hand side first. We do have someone home though, who seems to be into baking maybe. So we do want to check out that house. Oh my God, this is going to be so great. All the harvest things, all the produce. All the, all the, all the stuffs. Oh, this is Poppy. Ooh, all right. Oh my God, those pictures are amazing. Um, Kyle Bikini, thank you for the follow as well. All right, so Poppy seems to have a little cafe kind of. And Poppy has a picture of Sally. All right. I love that. This is the prettiest island I've seen in a while. It is by Cherry Crossing in the, uh, in the chat, but I agree. It is very, very pretty. Her and Sally own a bakery and vegetable shop together. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so here's the vegetable shop and here is the bakery. I see. Very cute. Okay, and then we'll go up the incline. And then there is what seems to be, I guess, almost a little bit like a... Um, I guess maybe like a little bit of a land bridge. But kind of like a little plaza moment probably with the canal. With all those boats and the ducks and then also the i mean the houses the houses along the canal with the with the two layered stuff and the the oh my gosh the tables that is i can't did this i can't build like when i see this i'm like is this animal crossing I don't I don't understand that. I just make like little natural islands with like windy pathings and lots and lots of shrubs. <laughs> that is an incredible view. What the heck? OK, before we go on to the actual land bridge, we're going to go over here, which continues the canal. I love that. Some seating options towards the front there and then we can actually head down here. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? And we can go on to onto this like path as well. My brain is buffering. I'm same. Absolutely same. That's probably the probably the build that took me the longest time ever. Oh, makes sense. See, I'm actually a little like I'm actually a little happy, quote unquote, happy to hear that just because <laughs> just because I'm like, OK, please don't tell me that was easy for you. <laughs> because no oh my god oh okay she has like a like a coffee shop mm. love the uh wallpaper with that with the shelf thingies there oh and she has a picture of Bo. all right see i could never build natural islands as effortlessly as you did oh you yes you can don't lie don't lie to us I don't even know if I want to sip it by DA. No, you definitely should. I mean, I honestly, I might not get to it today because the queue is still quite long and I probably won't get to everything there either. Okay, we got like fencing along the beach, though. That's kind of nice. But um, I kind of was explaining this earlier. You know, every island is very unique and it feels like they can't really be be compared, even though we all always have the um the tendency to compare stuff. So... You know okay okay slay just admit it you like to hear we're all, all struggling uh yes yes i never i never said anything anything else right wow i love it Oh, 
A 10 out of 10 would have coffee and cake here. Agreed. We get some apple juice. There's someone walking around. Now, I don't know if this continues. Like, if we can actually continue walking here, we can. All right. I kind of want to... I don't know if I need to, but I kind of want to circle back because I haven't gone over the... Um, probably wouldn't have needed to do that, but I haven't, haven't used the land bridge there, which I kind of want to do. This build also took me forever. I tore it down five times. I can also totally relate to that. I mean, look at this land bridge here with the seating along the sides and then like the shrub and like lantern layout. I can't. All right. And then here we've got Nook's Cranny. Of course, with all the pumpkin stuff. Oh, yeah. I probably could have gone like here. You can make a little circle to Nook's Cranny. It'll take you back. Okay. How about instead of work, I just enjoy the pretty islands. Yep. I think you should. I absolutely think you should. And then here's the houses that we already saw from the downstairs. Now, I believe the two on the outside were the additional reps, right? Hildy and Rosie. Okay. So here only the main room is decorated. Only. I can't stick around, but these islands have been amazing. I hope you feel better. Thank you, Satellite. Thank you for hanging out. Oh god, can we talk about that glowy reflection on the table? This looks kind of like a heavenly meal. <laughs> okay, I have to remember... Okay, that I have to remember this. Two library, like, bookshelf thingies with these in front. That looks freaking amazing. I'm not gonna lie, this is... <laughs> This room kind of makes me want to quit. <laughs> Currently trying to decide if I want to start crocheting a blanket or playing some Animal Crossing. Oh, wait. Only main room. Sorry. Forgot. Forgot. But this is good. This is a good reminder that Cherry is still human. <laughs> this island makes me want to play. It kind of makes me want to play, but at the same time, never play again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, oh, my interiors are not though. I feel like I've just been doing copycat interiors recently. I've always just been copying them because I just, I just, oh, they take so long, you know? That's how I feel about playing in general. What kind of brain do these people have? I know. Uh, I know. Oh my God, this is so, so creative though. Holy sh. Fizzle. That's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. I've also never been able to make that mushroom uh mushroom wallpaper work. I've ne like I've it's always been weird to me, but this was this was very pretty. I guess I'm never picking up my switch after this week's tours. No, you pick up your switch. You you said you're getting the good internet. You have absolutely no excuse anymore. <sighs> oh gosh, yes. That piano moment, though. How dare you say that my interiors are the best, Cherry? You're such a liar. <laughs> Next time you come back here, you'll be banned for lying. This is... too good. Interiors fill me with utter dread and leave them... And I leave them till last. Yeah, yeah, they really do. I do the same thing very often, and then I hate myself because I leave... Okay, I need to utilize, like, the partition walls more for, like, actually shaping the rooms a bit differently. I always leave, like, the, um, the interiors and the beaches to last, and then it's too much. And then it takes so long. And it, it, it annoys me because I feel like those just, those just prolong, like, the island stuff. Like, I feel like I would be done so much earlier if I had just... I don't know, because I feel like from the time you finish your island itself, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, we're done. But no, you know. Also making this just a smaller room. So good. So, so good. I love a good basement build for sure. The dinosaur poster is so underrated. Yeah. Oh, on Thursday, you're getting good Internet on Thursday. 
Okay, so you should be able to redeem on Sunday then, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, uh, Fleurs, thank you so much for the follow. Also, is it is it that? Let me know. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I was lazy to fill the back with pillars, though. Listen, it, I did, can't zero. Zero out of zero cannot recommend. So you're totally, you're totally okay. All right. And then, oh my God, there's more chocolates. Oh, I like these long and thin like farms here too. This is kind of cool. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, I still like them. It's just, I thought, I thought they would lead somewhere. <laughs> oh my God. I can't re like seriously these I love island tour streams but they also uh, they kind of sometimes they burst my brain into 700 different parts <laughs> I wanted to fill the space behind the houses see and for me that would have been three trees and probably like more like 13 trees and 300 shrubs and done with and you're like oh let's just make like a very creative like special long and thin farm of course you discovered my secret farm. I love that. Uh, Bauer Bird, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. It's so cute. Everything is so cute. Oh, rep, rep, rep. Wait for me. I got little legs. Is that the same one we saw before? Uh... On my next island, I will do interiors earlier. At least that's what I tell myself. No, but do, seriously, do it. On Sycamore, I kind of did that. And then I guess like on uh, Encanto, we nah, we did wait with the... Oh, yes. We did wait with the interiors for quite a while. But on Sycamore, I did them a bit earlier. And I'm not... Gonna, like, that was great. You're being generous. I wouldn't be... It would, it would be one tree and all weeds. Molly, enjoy the lurk. And Tomir, thank you for the follow. All these islands we've seen today so far have been incredibly beautiful and creative. Yeah. All the island owners are such amazing creators. I agree. Look at the... Also, I think, like, I just never figured out the castle stuff either. Like, you know how... You see how people do the castle stuff with the, with the... With the pergola, like, gazebo things? I was never able to figure that out. This build was heavily inspired by Boys Crossing. Okay. Thank you for letting us know. <gasps> and a market. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, and that's the museum too. Okay. Museum towards the back there. Oh, and here's the shrubs. Oh my god. With the Ferris wheel around it. And then, I mean, seats around it. See, but this is what I mean. Like I did, you, you know how I did the shrubs only and it felt almost like too suffocating. I feel like maybe I need to actually redo that area and then add flowers to it. My, maybe. I also have a marigold island. Yes. I'm scared for when you get to mine. No, no need to be scared. I might also not get there today because my voice is not happy about it right now. Do I go here or is this, this is also a dead end probably. Can you go under the pergolas? Where? In, in, in those upstairs builds? I don't think you can get there, no. I love my island and see this masterpiece. I'm like, oh, maybe not. I mean, I get that, but I have seen islands of yours before, Gemma. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, down those stairs. Yeah, I don't think I could. Hello. I don't think I could. Um, Adeya, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Also, this path here with like the flower beds on the sides. And then I love all the little like table and chair setups. Along the pathings. Oh, I thought a secret bit because of the arch. Oh, I see. Okay, this is like a little secret bit, though. You can you can do some fishing. Cherry. You literally just said you couldn't do natural builds, and then this is this is coming up. I can't. Uh... <laughs> 
Um, Bianca, also, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Holy crap. No, I can't. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm quitting. I don't know. I'll, I'll just, I'll build, I'll, I'll just play like a shooter from now on or something. <laughs> because I'd really be good at that, you know? <sighs> oh my God. Also the, the wheat field stuff. <gasps> oh, and a farm. Ooh, I love this. I like a diagonal farm. Very cute. Oh, and there's probably... Oh, how do I get there? I probably need to go up the incline again and continue that way. And I think this person might be home. Awesome island. So many new items to check out since I stopped playing. Yes. Aw, thank you, Sherry. That really means a lot. Should I save my redemption until Wednesday stream? I think so, yeah. I think so. Ooh, again with the different room shapes and stuff. And those like curtain thingies. Oh, I like this. I like this little workbench moment back there with the with the walls and the rug. This is amazing. This is this is amazing. I I'm I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Please don't quit. I need your beautiful. You don't need anything. Look at what you've done. <laughs> No, that sounds like, that sounds, look at what you've done. No, but like, look. Uh, I'm currently viewing this on my Switch in-game on the Dream Address. It's amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. Okay, so I'm assuming we can see this in a view. If I just find my pathway back <laughs> to the incline. I think I need to probably go up the incline. So heading through the forest part here. And then here. Hi. Let's go apple picking. No, I don't want to. <laughs> this tour makes me so happy. Well, at least one of us. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really glad that you shared it. I'm really, really glad that you shared it. Oh yeah, pinwheel. And then I think there we go. And all the duckies are also enjoying the view because how could they not? On Wednesday, will the list just start from where you end today? Um, ooh, I don't know. Do the redemption stay for that long? Do my mods know? I mean, we could do that, but I also don't want to like, I don't want to pressure anyone who redeemed today who might not make it on Wednesday. You know, this is so pretty. Okay, wait, and then we head down. Oh, this is the plaza right there. Okay. They stay until you mark them complete. They stay. Okay. Because we could, but they also, I don't know, for like for me, they're a little hard to see because they're like in my activity feed. And so every time, you, you know, someone like resubs or when the early squad comes in, it all gets like pushed down. So I feel like it might be better to just redeem freshly on Wednesday I think so yeah I know it's it's absolutely amazing oh and this kind of looks like a post office Ooh, that actually the art poster is very good for for like this build this is also so good the partition thing there and then it kind of looks like those are letters and stuff Oh, it's so good. Oh, and he, and she had a picture of uh, Rudy up. I like how they all have like, I don't know if it's either like a relationship or if they all have got like a business together or something. But that's so cool. Post office. Oh, and then we have someone home here as well. And again, with the boats, I can't. <laughs> all right, wait, I want to see kind of Oh yeah, wait, this is where we woke up basically. We've got the um Oh my god, cute also. We've got the plaza and then the the food setup. And then we went to the right hand side. So we basically have not seen this. Oh <gasps> cute. Oh wait, and there's someone over there. How do I get there? Oh, 
Chrissy still has a suggestive redemption for inspirational quote of the day from five months ago. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> guess we never guess we never implemented that idea. <laughs> I still don't know why that's still there, but Chrissy, would you like to have an inspirational quote of the day? <laughs> oh. You can't go there? Oh <gasps> fake news. Uh too many lovebirds on this island. No, I like that, though. The storylines, you know? And yet we have not been inspired with a quote. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> there you go. Again with the mushroom wallpaper. That's so cute. And I love the chairs around this. Oh, my God. Cute. Look at Rudy. He's so happy. I love it. Because you were you were looking at wall arts and found some of those cheesy clothes. Oh, true. I wa I wanted it five months ago. I guess. Oh my god. Ah, <sighs> all right, Sherry. I think I might have gone everywhere. I think I might have gone everywhere. I was ecstatic when I saw you use the train item for Rudy on Stickamore as well. Yeah, I basically recreated an interior I did on, I think it was maybe Naporia. I'm not sure, but I basically like copy pasted uh, an, an interior that I did on Naporia for Sycamore and then like just adapted the colors and such. Oh, I haven't seen this. Okay, I haven't seen this. Musical area. And um and Rudy does have like the he does have like a very play style type of house, so yeah, it kind of fits. All right, Cherry, thank you so so much also for submitting your island. That was amazing. Like truthfully, kind of speechless amazing. Um thank you for sharing that. Thank you so so much. Thank you for all your kind words. Of course, of course. Alrighty. Um, I would say we're going to do one more. Kiri, if you're here, I think I would go to your island. Uh, and then maybe after that, I, Gemma is the next one. So maybe we can keep Gemma's and we can do that one on, on Wednesday as the first one. I mean, we can keep them. We can kind of see, we can kind of see how it goes on, on Wednesday. All right, perfect. We'll go to Kiri's next then. Uh, Kiri also has a old redemption, so we can like reject the redemption so she gets the points back. But then, um, yeah, because I still had like an old one. If I can find it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, also, Smoochie, thank you for the follow and welcome to the chat. Hello. Okay, let me get the DA. Okay. I missed a few tours. A screen baby crisis. Oh, no worries, Hobbsy. No worries. The island you're about to see is called Utni, and it's a magical forest and book themed island. Oh, I am ready. Uh, what is your new island called, by the way, Kiri? I don't know if I think I probably knew, know that. You probably posted it in like in the Discord or something. But feel free to feel free to share. Okay, nine seven two five three four nine six two four. Six, three. Okay. It's, it sounds amazing. It sounds like my kind of island. It does. Magical forest. Always love it. And uh, book themed. Also love it. <sighs> Willow Bay. Okay. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, Bianca, welcome to the chat. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy. Uh, 
All right, let's go. So after this, technically, uh, Gemma also redeemed. Um, Paulina redeemed Navour. Um, Cactus. And I think that's it. I think that's it. We can keep those active if you want. We can keep those active on Wednesday. And then if you're here, we can start with those. And if you're not, we're just going to refund. Um, or we close them all out and then you can refund, like you can request it again on Wednesday. Whatever whatever you're happier with or happiest with. I, I think I'm probably going to be able to access the DAs. Um, or I can write them down now or something. Uh, so so let me uh, let me know. I can already say that this island is stunning. I think we have 5 a.m. going on. Yes, 5 a.m. Lovely music. <gasps> Holy crap. I don't think I've ever seen one of your islands, have I, Kiri? You redeemed that, like, so long ago, but you didn't actually... Oh my god, I love how these presents are, like, literally scattered everywhere. Um, it's basically, like, probably guide, yeah, guiding you to the entrance. I was, like, about to say, this is kind of, like... This is kind of like Hensel and Gretel. Hensel and Gretel. I don't know if that's what it's called, but yeah. It's a, only my second island. We don't talk about the first one. Oh, fair point. Fair point. I'll be here from the beginning on Wednesday so mine can stay. Okay. I'm game to keep my spot. What time is stream on Wednesday? Uh, basically same as today. So like I'll start at 5 p.m. Uh, CET. So like three hours ago kind of um and i'll probably do like half an hour to an hour maybe sometimes a little bit more of chatting and then after we'll get started but yeah okay so we'll keep the we'll keep the slots again if you know if you're not here no worries no harm done um then we just refund the points and you can redeem at some other point in time if you want um or yeah yeah Ooh, all right and we get a pocketbook we get an umbrella uh, we also get some bubble blowers and a pinwheel and a balloon. I think I want to hold the pinwheel. All right. So, um, oh wait, I haven't looked at the, I haven't looked at the map. <gasps> Ooh, cute map. I like it. All right. We have Keria, of course. We have Bones, Melba, Raymond, Ellie, Bertha. Oh, I don't see Bertha a lot. Okay. We've got Marshall, Marlo, Wolfgang, Maple, and Daly. I like the little pathways. I'm excited to see what those will look like. I'd love to keep my spot too. Okay, we'll do that then. How do you look so cute in every single outfit? Only in Animal Crossing, trust me. Only in game. I look like a little Sherlock Holmes though, like a little investigator. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I'd like that you could visit my island. I don't have intent Nintendo online. Oh, I don't think there's a there's a way to do it then, unfortunately. OK, very pretty. I am going to go to the right hand side first. Absolutely love this path. I love these signs also. And then we have a book themed island. So around every corner, we'll basically see some books. Hi, Wolfgang. Cute. Bertha is one of my favorites. I love how she wears her glasses. Oh my god, yeah, she wears them probably like super tiny in the middle of her head and no one really like, like she wouldn't even really be able to use it. Also, Luna, welcome on in. I like the swamp thing as like a, as like a pillow coat also. Okay, we will go from Nook's Cranny, the first of probably many bookshops. Um... Let's kind of head to the right hand side in just a second. I do want to kind of see this one. Um, also, Bailey the Cozy, thank you. Oh, look at who's walking around there. <laughs> um, Bailey the Cozy, thank you for the um for the follow as well. With the gazebo, gazebo, <laughs> the gazebo, and then also the glowing mushrooms with the glowing moss. I love this. The swampy vibes are basically like right up my alley also. Oh, and we do also have a, a few little bugs. We have some glowing balloons and some gyroids greeting you. I love that. And then I think you've mostly used um, green mums and white mums. And then I see some black tulips and some white windflowers. I think those are like the, the flowers you kind of use. Some circle coats here and then a little food truck or like ice cream truck. No, thank you, Kiri. 
is so peaceful. Again, with the 6 a.m., like 5 to 6 a.m. lighting. Oh, yeah. And I love these. These, like, picnic setups. I do these too often. <laughs> I love them, like, a lot. There's a little picnic, a little spot to sit over here as well. This is so cute. Did you delete this one then? Probably, right? Or did you keep it? Oh, and the campsite is also up here. All right. Campsite with the little like bus stop type of thing over there. And then we'll cut. Oh my God. And then here's a little writer's retreat. Oh, post office. <gasps> There's a little post office. Very cute. I love the little um picture like custom design there. It's on my old switch light if I ever want to go, go back to it. Oh, perfect. Lock bench with cushions is such an OG setup. I agree. And then also like wooden stool with anything. You got like a almost sunken able sister vibe, although it's not really sunken, but it's just kind of every time we have like a viewing platform this close, it gives me like sunken vibes. And that's a good thing. Oh my God. Look at the, look at the forest. Oh, and you've also basically, you've basically only used like, um, cedar trees, I think, right? With all the gyrates up here. Cute. All right. And then I think maybe this was a dead end. I'll kind of go and I don't know. Do I circle around to the Able Sisters maybe from the beach? Well, maybe that's a good idea. Um, and Zaxbra, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I adore all the cedar trees. Oh, yeah. And coconut trees. But yeah. Me too. All the different stages. Oh my god, cute. There's one hidden pear tree. That is the only non-cedar tree. Interesting. Is there a specific uh, reason for a hidden pear tree? <laughs> the moss in this lighting also just is gently glowing. It's so good. Yes. And all the little gyroids. Me loves. And a butterfly. Did you see? There was a tiny little butterfly. Like, literally behind my camera. Oh, no, there it is. It flew into my head. Sure. <laughs> is it possible that if I give the free trial for seven days online, could I make visits to Animal Crossing? So, you can. You can upload your, your island as a DA. I currently am not, like, visiting anyone. Uh, you can do, like, visits, and you can do pretty much everything that the, the online stuff um, allows you to. Um, I'm currently not doing visits, though. I'm just... <laughs> books i'm just uh visiting dream addresses so you'd have to like uh when your island is built up you'd have to upload it as a dream address and then uh yeah redeem here and then i'd be i'd be happy to come over and also sax welcome to the chat look at this little library behind the resident services cute it's a really inspiring quote there we go books Oh, it's a native fruit, and I wanted to keep one of the original trees. Okay. I kind of like that. All right. This seems kind of like a writer's retreat, doesn't it? And all the winding path are, path are so cute. And there's a cafe here. Of course, with a lot of books as well. Oh, my God. It's so cute. The swampy vibes are immaculate, really. Oh, that's kind of the front desk. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, I don't. I want to make sure that I try not to miss anything. I think I can head up here to your house, probably. Ooh, yes. The You probably also cannot hear the music, by the way. Because I think, like, the 5 a.m. music is so gentle anyways. I can... Basically not hear it either. <laughs> oh, right. I didn't even ask about interiors. Okay, but so this interior did. Okay. Uh, do we think my ear is going to fall off? <gasps> wow. Oh, here comes the... Here comes the blinding LED panels again. Oh my god, cute. <gasps> the little the little shelves up here. Oh my god, this is so pretty. 
the way I have to shield my eyes. I look like an idiot. <laughs> it makes me want to build a forest island again. Also only using cedar trees, right? Right? Oh my God, beautiful. Okay, I love this. I love how this, like, it, I don't know, it it's completely like daytime, like daylight windows, but it kind of looks like the 5 a.m. lighting somewhat. Like, it seems very gentle and cute. I love it. You need a sun visor for dark rooms? I know, I need to, like, I need to have something I can, like, put on my glasses. <laughs> oh, my God. What about your ear? Um, I took out the, like, medical ear thingies yesterday the the ones that um oh the redemption still says only fall islands oh that is not true i will actually on that note though i should actually go ahead and close it um because i'm not gonna after this one i think we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that for today um it shouldn't say only fall islands though i apologize for that that wasn't intentional oopsie Mm. the house is adorable and also this oh my god so fancy you need the clip on sunglasses yep yep <laughs> I'm heading out for my lunch break if stream is over by the time I'm back thank you for the fun vibes and for letting me share my island have a good rest of stream and I'll check out the other islands on YouTube thank you Emily thank you for um submitting your DA and for also hanging out for the other tours I appreciate it Ooh, cute. Very bright kitchen. I like this too. I never uh, dared to do forest core because full on naturals burn me out so quickly, but it's tempting at the moment. So like you really have, like you really gravitate towards like the, like town city type things. Uh, also Mars Quartz. Uh, thank you for, oh, Mars Quartz. Thank you for the lurk and Jerry Lurk. Such a clean and cozy kitchen, yeah. Amazing work, everyone. You're also talented and have created such amazing, unique islands. Oh my, holy crap. Carrie, excuse, Carrie, excuse me. Carrie, I need to be places. I need to go. <laughs> I need to leave. <laughs> you were not supposed to find that. Oh my god. And then the upstairs is empty. Stuff is getting weird now. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, that's what my basement looks like. What do you mean? Oh gosh. Wait, I could dump my paper and garden trash for free? Wait, what do you mean, Thomas? Not the bones, I know. I know. That was a plot twist. I know we're like all up here like, oh my god, it's so cozy. Ooh, ooh, I love the lighting. And then we then we see that. <laughs> oh, good lord. I can't. Oh, Paulina, I hope you feel better soon. I do gravitate towards structured islands. I do a natural every now and then, but mostly have some kind of structure as well. Okay. Rare books. Okay, with the fancy lamp. Mm-hmm. This is very, very cute. I love all these books and, like, little seating areas and writing areas and everything, like, sprinkled throughout. Like, there's a corner everywhere where you can sit down and read your book or just hang out, you know? That's absolutely freaking precious. <gasps> a little tulip farm! Okay, wait, let me let me think where we are. So we've got the tulip farm. We're in, on the right-hand side of the house. Okay. Oh, here's the tree. I was like, wait, what? Here's the tree. Here is the pear tree. Everything was in order until we saw the floor below. Yes. Then we'll have to open them with a pass. Oh, it'll cost me money. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you were able to get it to get it done without having to pay then. When a shrine. Yeah, we don't even get to eat a pear. See, things are going weird. This is fenced in. Um, we've got a shrine to who knows what. Um, you know, dolls and flowers. I don't know. 
I don't know. I feel like we need to stop asking questions or this will get very ugly very quickly. <laughs> oh, I hope you get a you find a good snack. I also need to think about what I'm gonna eat after after strim. Oh my god. Tell me why that's about to make me cry. The two music players? That's so cute. Oh, now I changed my sound settings and it's going to be messed up for my recording. Ah, it's okay. That song is amazing. That song is basically, I feel like almost everyone's favorite. I love this. Oh my God, there's another one over here. Oh, I love it. There's a little beach here as well. Got some natural beaches, some turtles living their lives. Very cute. Very relaxing and soothing. And then there's KK Metal. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Oh, very cute. And you dropped it here also. Oh, wait, that's a different one. Oh, yeah, KK Metal and KK Mariachi. Both of those are not very relaxing. That's true. Oh my god. All right, and then I think we still need to head up here for sure. Okay, and you said interiors are not done, right? I think so. I like these winding pathways. <gasps> and then a romantic picnic candlelight. Never mind. It's not really quite that romantic, is it? <laughs> Kyrie. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Okay, wait, how do I get, how do I get down? Do I need to go back? I probably need to go back. Bones again. Maybe they got stood up and just waited and waited and waited. Oh my God, that is so sad. No, I don't want to believe that. <laughs> oh my god. The green fencing is amazing. Okay, there's definitely someone living here. Kind of secluded with a bunch of bugs. A little bug study, okay. And then we still need to find our way up onto that cliff. So I'm going to I'm going to try like heading down here towards the resident services and then kind of finding my way from that to the left, I guess. From the entrance? We were only able to head like to the right hand side. Okay, so kind of here. And then I guess, oh, you can go up to this incline also. On the other side of resident services, okay. Ooh, a little school, all right. We're not gonna be super suspicious. I don't think I knew it did that. Uh, we're not going to be super suspicious of the skeleton because it's just for teaching purposes. So it's fine. It's it's fine, I'm sure. It's not a question. I feel like if I question, I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, there's hop spots. Oh my god, cute. Okay, I love that. Um, before I go there, though, let's let's explore this part here so I don't miss anything. This is Bone's house, I think. And from Bone's house... I don't think I can climb. I almost got stuck. Oh my god, cute. Wait, so... How do I get to that house there? Did I miss an incline? Not from the entrance. 
I kind of head up here. Oh, or maybe do I? Yeah, I was going to say, do I go down here and walk through this part? Oh, I see. I see. I like the colors of this island. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> me too. Oh, yeah, here we go. I like the beaches for sure. And this is how we get there. Okay. 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 Siri, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I love that peninsula though. I love this peninsula idea. Uh, distress, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. And then we apparently have someone who researches like fossils. And then the museum. Which I believe I can go through here. Yes. Oh my god, like a full on like big museum build, basically. With a bunch of different dinosaurs. Yes. Fancy. And more bones. And more bones. Because that's that's normal right okay and now we're gonna go climb up here and then just resume our pathway over to this side i think right this is very very cute oh wait we could have oh i could have just walked <laughs> never mind why why do things the easy way right why do things the easy way? That's, yeah. Okay, cute picnic. Oh, this is right behind resin services, all right. And then this is kind of where I walked through before, which I don't think, yeah, this is kind of a dead end. So many bones. Apparently, if you're too loud in the library, there are consequences. <laughs> Not that. Oh, my God. Oh, this is cute. Oh my God. Like, look at this fancy writer setup. Okay, why is my left eye tearing up? Like, just leaking. Remind me to never agree to meet Curie in a swamp. I know. Serene and pretty and calming with a slight undertone of sus. <laughs> right now, yeah, you shouldn't agree to meet me anywhere, but right now I can run, so I'm a lot less scary. Oh, no, not the littered beach. Oh, no, not the littered beach. Oh, that's so sad. I kind of love this part here. This is, a, this is like a very swampy part, which I love. I am not following the pathway at all. Like, this is very pretty. Undertone of sus. Yep. Ooh, my God. Can we also talk about how glowy the hedges are at 5 a.m.? I like that, too. Did we see more sus basement and gorgeous forest? We saw more bones in the middle of the forest. Like, not the dog, but like, like a human skeleton. <laughs> a human skeleton. Oh, cute land bridge. Cute, cute land bridge. I really like the layering of trees that you did. Oh, and then we have a little farm over here. Nice. What a great and totally not concerning island to end with. I know. Aren't you all going to sleep very well today after this? I love the fact that all the trees are cedar trees and the island is still not boring at all. I agree. Yes. Or the plot twist is that we're actually in the Doctor Who episode, the library. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Also, this is very, very cute. All right. Uh, Kiri, would you let me know if I have seen everything? Because I think maybe I have, but I'm also not 100% certain. Um, let me know. It wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be <laughs> scary and sus, but it seems really fitting. What do you mean? Have you seen your basement? <laughs> Have you seen your basement, Kiri? How is that not supposed to be suspicious? 
<laughs> oh my god uh kiri also thank you so much so in case the mods haven't uh done that one just yet feel free to reject the redemption because of the previous one um but kiri thank you so much for also sharing your island with us that was also amazing it's rare to see an island with only cedar trees i like it i like it too all these islands were amazing holy crap only the basement was supposed to be scary. Okay, but why were there random bones in the middle of the forest? I did see those. <laughs> I did see those. Nothing wrong with scary and sus. True. True. Especially, especially in Animal Crossing. Okay, my Twitch chat has de disconnected again. It's... I don't know what's going on. All right. I think that'll be it for today, though, because I can, f I can feel my my voice kind of leaving me and also starting to hurt. And I think also as much as I love Island tours, you know, uh, that it's a lot of like impressions in a, in a way. So, um, yeah, I just, I want to make sure that I give all the islands the attention that they deserve. And so I think we're going to end it here for today and we're going to continue with tours on Wednesday. We're going to keep the redemptions from today. I'm going to write them down. We're going to keep the redemptions from today. Um, so in case y'all are also going to be here on Wednesday, we can do those then. And we're also going to reopen the redemption. So more island tours on Wednesday in case you're interested. Um, apart from that, I will try to get an, an episode um, of the Let's Play out tomorrow. I also, again, no promises because I don't know how all of this is going to behave as of tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll see each other on Wednesday for sure if you want to. And, um, I will kind of let you know about the rest of everything. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday and, um, I'm going to go get something to eat. Hopefully my mood will improve. We'll see. I doubt it actually. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely rest of your Wednesday. Also, thank you everyone for hanging out today, for lurking, for chatting, for the financial support as well. Um, for all the follows, I appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll switch over to your ending screen. And once again, thank you to everyone who submitted an island today. I really appreciate y'all sharing your creations with us and for letting us tour those. It was very, very fun to see all of you um, yeah, live out your creativeness in Animal Crossing. So thank you, everyone. Uh, and thank you for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you uh, very, very soon. Bye-bye.